Hello, hello everyone, I'm MVL and welcome to my top 5 video game pickups of the horror genre, that's right, my top 5 horror game pickups for 2020 from my video game pickup videos. Now, just to clarify, this is not my top 5 horror games of all time, nor is it the best top 5 horror games released this year. These are the horror games that I have picked up from my pickup videos that I deem to be the 5 best, or at least that I'm going to show on this video, um, for the year of 2020. Hey Dead Inside, how are you doing my friend? Welcome to the stream! And I will be including gameplay footage for every game I'm about to show you. I plan to do around about 20 minutes of gameplay footage for this top 5. And then uh, these games will not be in my top 10 for the, uh, for, the, for, the, for the year either. So that video is coming tomorrow. That will be my top 10. If you want to see my top 10, uh, which these will be exempt from, um, that will be tomorrow. Anyway, top 5 horror games. Let's get scary. You're good? I got glad to have you here, my friend. And uh, yeah, we're going to start off strong, actually. So the first game is... Uh, f it is a Game Boy game. And uh, by the way, I'm doing this in no order. I'm sort of going um, from uh, retro to new. But these are not really necessarily in the order that, um, that would be representative. Anyway, um, so I guess number five on the list would be um, Resident Evil Gaiden on the Game Boy Color. This was from my April 2020 video game pickups. So there it is. And uh, this is an absolutely fantastic game. And I have in fact uh, live streamed this game all the way through to completion. So we'll sample it for a little bit um, today and we'll get to about 20 minutes in and then we'll switch up to the next one up on the list, number four if you will. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to pop this into my Retro Freak. I've taken the um, the uh, memory device out of my Retro Freak, the SD, the SD card, so that I can play it without overwriting my save or anything. Um, so we'll do that right now. There's no there's no smooth way to do this. I'm going to have to shimmy across and pop it in. But uh, then we will switch over to the gameplay screen. This that is assuming that it wants to actually read my cartridge. <laughs> I'll be right back. Of course, it might be a little bit. There we go. There we go. It might be a little bit, a little bit dusty. A little bit dusty. A little bit dirty. All right. It knows what it is. It knows what it is. Okay. So I'll pop on the uh, headphones, and I'll change screen when we're into the game. But uh, yeah, let's uh, go to. The uh, Resident Evil Gaiden on the Game Boy Color. I will be using the Super Nintendo controller, by the way, as I did when I streamed the game. Um, very, very much uh, my preferred way of uh, playing Game Boy games on the big screen with a uh, with a SNES controller. Anyway, let's get it started. Love the music in this game, by the way. Absolutely love it. One of my favorite things about it, the music is so good. So good. I used this music in um, one of my, uh, at some point, I believe, if my memory serves me right, at some point in uh, the break screen of one of my D&D videos, but the music's so good, it's so good. I almost want to stay on the start screen enough to listen to the music. So good. Mmm, I love this music. I will let it run for a little bit. Um, it's very danceable music as well, when it gets into it. As soon as here come the drums, then we get it. Makes you wait for it though, doesn't it? <laughs> Great game. There we go. Alright, enough, enough of that. I've done that before. And it was embarrassing uh, then as it is now. But you can say, when, it, when the drums hit in, and uh, it goes, it goes off. It just, it just goes. Great music, great music. As was the uh, intro music as well. When you uh, stay on the language screen as well. But amazing game, by the way. Definitely worthy of my top five. And then, you know, would have definitely made the top ten if I wasn't separating the horror games uh, this time around. Anyway, in an effort to put a stop to the global operations of the evil corporate entity Umbrella Pharmaceuticals Incorporated. 
An underground organization was formed. This is non-canon, by the way. The organization consists of former STARS members and ex-Umbrella employees. Somewhere in North America at this underground organization's hideout. 2.30 a.m. Ooh, that's late or early, depending on how you look at it. Barry says, reporting for duty. Good to see you, Barry. I have a mission for you of the utmost urgency. A new type of bioorganic weapon developed at Umbrella Labs has escaped. SBOW is believed to be among the passengers of the luxury ocean cruiser, the Starlight. Hey Slayer768, how you doing buddy? Welcome to the stream. The new BOW is an extremely dangerous creature, even in its human form. Leon S. Kennedy of the Raccoon City Police Department was tracking the BOW, but we have now lost contact with him. His last report came in over 24 hours ago. <gasps> Objective, locate Leon S. Kennedy and eliminate the BOW. How am I doing? I'm doing great, thanks for asking my friend. Great to have you guys here. We're going insertion, we're going in. Fire helicopter, get on the chopper! The Starlight currently cruising in the Atlantic is the location and the extraction is via helicopter, hopefully. Uh, via a helicopter deployed on the uh, receipt of radio transmission. Operative Barry Butt. Good luck with your mission. You'll need it. Alright, we're in there. Barry, come in. Over. HQ calling. HQ's calling. Alright. Yeah, copy. I read you. Over. My impersonation of Barry is terrible. You are now on the side deck. 2F. Make your way west. To the lobby to enter the ship. Look for useful items along the way, they may be hidden in boxes or other containers. Your alert icon will show you when an item is nearby, you can then pick up this item. Good luck Barry, over and out. Yeah, yeah, as Barry would say. Right, there's something, there's something, um, hidden here as it is, but you can't go through that door. We have, uh, streamed this to completion, but definitely, definitely wanted it on my top five. It was, uh, one of the grabs, of course. To, uh, on the mission to complete every single Resident Evil game. Good to hear you doing well, Slayer, my friend. Awesome to have you here, buddy. As we uh, dive into some... Ooh. It's a file. Your current objective will be shown on your PDA. Your PDA will also show all the information you have found. Your PDA is your best friend. <laughs> and it can be accessed in your inventory. Your current objective will also be shown on your map. And will be highlighted in red. That is actually very useful. Your map will also show where... You're currently uh, highlighted in green. As for your, com as you complete your objectives, your current stats will be saved. We've only got 20 minutes. Come on! <laughs> you may then continue your mission after a restart at set times. You may also save status one, two, three, etc. You may then continue your mission from slot one, two, three when you start. It's saying you can save your game. It's that's how you save your game. The music is really good in this. Yeah. Okay, we got something. It's a herb. This is a small herb. All right. Although no- Oh, hello, HQ is calling. Barry, be careful, we have detected hostiles in the lobby. If you need to use your targeting system to attack these hostiles, once your target is activated, you can aim at these hostiles. The site will indicate when a hostile is in range. Deactivate the target system once a hostile is in range to start a battle. Once in a battle, fire your weapon when the target is aligned to the hostile to hit. Remember that your weapons are less effective at greater distances. That is a trap! Some enemies, like bosses, you have to fight at it. You have to push them away at a distance. Portion is recommended, though. Avoid conflict if you can. That is a good advice. That is good advice. Be careful in there. Will do. Over and out. All right. Um, yeah, some some bosses you do have to push away. Hey, Patch, how are you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream. So what it what it means? What in the name of what has happened to these people? They're not human anymore. That's my best Barry impression. Um, really, you should just run away from him. What it means by target meter is you can bring up this targeter and move that around and then get to, uh, get to your targets that way. I don't recommend doing this. I recommend just dodging enemies. Um, and then it's uh, it's rhythm based. You have to hit the center of, a, of when you're in combat. There, see, I can dodge these guys now. That's, that's what I recommend doing. Unless the red icon comes up, that means that one of them has an item. There's an item, a green item, the exclamation mark that is. When you try to run away in a battle, you must fire your weapon and hit the target in the middle. Zombies will try harder to hit you 
whilst you are running away. Once you start to run away, you cannot rejoin the battle. Yeah, running away is not good. Uh, maybe in one of the boss battles, perhaps? Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to go upstairs yet. There's also the, um, the lady zombies up there, and they're more powerful than the, uh, than the zombies down here as well. Go for the door! <laughs> we need a jill sandwich. Oh boy. Okay, so now you see some of the battle system, just as planned, right? You've really got to really try and hit it in the middle, and then don't really bother when they're far away, because you won't do much damage. You want them to get close. You also have very small ammo during the start of the game. Hey Fango, how you doing my friend? I should really wait for him to get closer. It'll also be easier to hit. This is a great game. I actually uh, previously live-streamed this all the way through. There we go. And he, and he swipes at me, but he didn't do any damage. Does he have? A, he did have an item. Yeah, bullets. Okay, handgun bullets. That's pretty good. You're pretty good. Um, oh, there's another file here. Make your way to the security room on 4F. Try the elevators to the west. Maybe you can locate Leon with the security cameras. Okay, I'll make contact when I get there. Over and out. Alright, that's my best Barry voice. <laughs> How you doing, by the way, fangirl? Always be on the lookout for herbs. You pick up. If you are wounded, these will restore lost health. Apply a herb within... Um, I skipped over that. <laughs> it's herbs do stuff. Search zombies as they may sometimes be carrying herbs. Yeah. So I think you. It, I think it said you can apply herbs during battle, or at least I imagine it recommended that. Uh, press, I was too eager. I pressed the button too fast. Push the button. But uh, this game can... Re oh, there's, there's something hidden. There's a herb. Speak of the devil. This game can push your buttons if you let it. Go downstairs for extra items, but I don't think I'm supposed to do that yet. Oh, there's something hidden here as well. A heavy-duty electrical fuse used for the coolant systems in the re refinerator room on the first floor. Interesting. That uh, red exclamation mark means one of these zombies has an item. Um, if I can get past it, I will and not fight it. Oh boy, there's a little bit of slowdown. I don't know if that's just my retro freak. Alright, they're equal distance away. I think I'm just going to fire at them, and if I can hit the centers... That's fine. Um, really, I want to use the knife at this distance. So when they get close, you can use the knife. Oh, I took damage there, and I missed. Oh, wow, look how much damage I took. I'm on caution. Okay, this zombie's got... I, I just want to run past the zombies if I can. If I can. It got no time for zombies. Oh, no, it's, I won't skip past this one. You can equip yourself with a different weapon within your inventory. You can also have access to your inventory when in battle. You do need to do that to switch weapons. Um, the action will not stop. The action never stops, my friends. The graphics are really good. Um, I've seen people recently, uh, recently with like uh, mods to make um, Resident Evil One look Game Boy, but there was uh, look Game Boy Color, but there was a really good Game Boy uh, Resident Evil game that was out there, and it was this, and it kind of flew under the radar, I think, especially in the uh, Resident Evil community. This is a absolutely fantastic game. It's going to be tough for me to limit myself to 10 minutes, actually. But, we'll, oh, there's a hidden item here. Bullets! Uh, I need bullets. Um, for 20 minutes, I should say. Uh, so we can get through all top 5 of my pickups in this video. These bullets are used with a handgun. I think I'm doing a lot better than I did when I previously played this. Oh, oh lady zombie, they're more dangerous. Alright, some of these zombies can poison you with their attacks. If you are poisoned, your health will suffer for a period of time. Use the blue or purple herbs to cure yourself from poison. Yeah, the um, the, the lady zombies will poison you. Uh, they, they have a much more of a tendency to do so. And depending on the colour of the zombie, they might be more um, dangerous as well. Um, one of these zombies has an item, but I don't know what it... Okay, can't push you away. Oh no, they're all coming in for the hugs. <laughs> Alright, I should definitely use my pistol here, but I need to get back in the rhythm. There you go, you get a good rhythm. See? Mmm! <laughs> well, there's one in front of the other there, I think. Let me change to the, to the knife. No, I don't need to change the knife, she's still far away. Yeah, okay. She should have an item as well. You've got to stay away from the bodies as well, because... Um, can I get through there? I saw the door was down. The bodies might leer towards you as well. There is a purple herb there to cure yourself from poison. That's very good. That's very good. Oh, there's another item here. You do not have the shotgun. You cannot collect this ammunition. I don't get that. Why can't I grab shotgun? Oh, no. She got She got me. Why can't I grab the shotgun ammo without a shotgun? 
Oh, well, I would have no need of it, naturally. Okay, that was easy peasy. Like, that's what I mean, you see her crawling on the ground there, you gotta stay away from them. When they're- Oh boy, there's one right there. Oh boy. Oh, she's got me in a Barry sandwich. <laughs> Maybe I can tempt her all the way in the room, and then run past her. <laughs> we, got a, we got away with it, we got away with it. Look at that dodge. Alright, what does this file say? I don't know why I'm looking at the files. You unlock a door where you use the key at the door. Who would have thought? To use an item like a key, you must go to your inventory. Okay. Oh, this zombie's got an item. I don't know if I can dodge him as well. Yeah, I can't dodge him. He was... I could have lured him towards me, I guess. And then dodged them. I find it easier to hit the zombies if you aim them to the center. See, I did a lot more damage that way. This is used uh, to operate a set of elevators to the west of the ship. Well, that's handy. Yeah, some zombies you do need to take out to progress further in the game. Got some handgun ammo there as well. Ooh, there's an item, like, right here in these broken... Shotgun? Whoa, we got the shotgun. Wow, okay, well, I guess we need we can grab that shotgun ammo in that room previously. Ooh, uh, how about that? I think I'm definitely doing better than when I streamed this. I don't remember finding the shotgun so early on. Shotgun shells, there we go, nice. Oh boy, maybe we should just use the shotgun, because we're only going to be doing this for a couple minutes longer. She's right in my face. Equipped. Oh, she took a slash at me. I might be poisoned now as well. Shotgun, oh, shotgun, as you can see, is much more unwieldy, and now I need to use one of those uh, heals. What do I have? Green herb, yellow herb. I'll just use a purple herb. There we go. There we go, we're back to max. As you can see, the uh, shotgun moves a lot faster. Hey, Trevor, how are you doing, my friend? Walked right into that one. <laughs> I wanted to use my shotgun anyway, right? Oh boy, it's so fast, I prefer using the pistol. Ah, uh, yeah, I prefer using the pistol. I switch back to the pistol, it's much less unwieldy. I mean, to be fair, I prefer using the knife, but I'd only really use the knife if I ran out of pistol ammo. Hey, Mystic, how are you doing, my friend? Good to see you, how are you doing, buddy? Oh, this guy has something on him, shotgun shells, and we have the shotgun now, and we have a key around here somewhere. Taking it easy, appreciate it, my friend. Appreciate you taking it easy with me. I'm gonna use the actual targeting system here and not get jumped by this zombie. How you doing, Mystic, my friend? Victory Leo, what's up, buddy? I wasted some ammo right there. How about that? Oh, remember when I said stay away from them when they're on the ground and then I just walked into that one? <laughs> stay away from them when they're on the ground. What does this say? To escape from a zombie grasp uh, struggle. Oh, I did not know you could escape from a zombie grasp. I actually did not know that. Maybe I just didn't listen. Um, don't I have the key for this? Yeah, I have the elevator key, right? Let me try and use it. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, don't I have the key for this? <laughs> Let's go upstairs. We're going up in the world. I will not save. No fear, no save. There we go. You doing well? That's good to hear, my friend. I'm doing good. Alright. Okay, I can't use the other side when we can get out here. There we go. Appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Thanks for being with me, my friends. Oh, but I, now I can't dodge him. Maybe I can make him come this way. Oh. I guess you can push him back, which gives you a little bit of room. Two zombies. Not a problem. If you get your, if you get your rhythm right, and you hit them dead center, they are, they are gone. I also, the combat, I will say, takes some time to get used to. But, um... They could have done it like, I guess they could have done it like action RPG style, but I think they did a good job the way they did it as well. You may use your targeting system to attack any hostiles. Once the target is activated, you can aim at any hostiles you meet. The sight will indicate when the hostile is in range. Deactivate the target system once the hostile is in range to start the battle. Once in a battle, fire your weapon when the target is aligned to the hostile to hit. Why are they telling you how combat works at this stage of the game? Uh, remember that your weapons are less effective at greater distances. That is a trap. I really don't like that they keep telling you that because some of the bosses you need to push out of range and the game encourages you to let enemies get uh, close to you. The security room will probably be locked. I may need a key for it. Alright, I remember the key is on one of the uh, lady zombies along here. Oh, oh these guys with the... Uh, I don't know what to call it, they've got like a hook or something. They're a little more damaging, so I'll go around the other side. Hey, appreciate you guys smashing the like button and all that good stuff. You guys are legends, thanks for being with me, my friends. Oh, I'm gonna run, run away from these guys. I'll get to the security room, and maybe I'll check what this says. 
be on the lookout for armor. Equip yourself with the armor you find to protect yourself. The stronger the armor, the less damage you will suffer when you are hit in a battle. Remember, useful items such as armor may be left around the ship by the crew and passengers. Look out for these arm items and always be on the lookout for alert items and stuff. Run away, run away. You're not getting me with that hook. You are not dragging me off stage with that hook. <laughs> oh boy, I think I can dodge this guy. What? I had so much room. How did he get me? These guys are more damaging, so I definitely will not wait for these guys to get closer to do more damage to him. One of these guys has a uh, item I need, though. For the security room. Security room. This is not the security room. This is the showers. Hello? You do not have the grenade gun. You cannot collect the ammunition. Why can't you collect the ammunition? You don't have the weapon. Oh, I see she's having a shower or something. I will leave her to it. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Okay, I'm looking for a zombie um, that has an item. So they will have the um, the red explanation mark above their head. Oh boy. It might be this one. This one right here. Try and get... Oh, I didn't get them. Didn't get them. Oh. He's very close. She might poison me. Oh boy, there's like three here. I'm not going to shoot the other one. It's too far away. Now it's closer. Oh boy, I'm missing everything here. There we go. Alright, I'll take this one out as well. Uh. Uh. There we go, nice, nice. There we go, nice. Funny you should mention uh, Seasonal and Saturn. <laughs> I got the key right there. Uh, I played uh, a seasonal game on the, season on the Sega Saturn recently. <laughs> nice. PS2? I love the PS2. I, I have to take this one out. Or I might be able to dodge him. Maybe I can persuade him to come all the way up here. Um, I've had two PS2s break. But yeah, maybe I can persuade him to come this way and then I can... Yeah, there we go. I can get down that way. I have to use the key. Can't use? Wait, what key did I get? Oh, the barroom key. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I've got the barroom key, that's not the key I want! Oh, this one might have it. She's got an item. Uh, take her out. Uh. Oh boy. What has she got? I think it's the barroom key I need anyway. Parasite Eve 2? Yeah, looking ahead to the uh, other games on the list. We've got some good stuff, horror games coming from my previous pickup videos as well. Alright, let me, let me see. The, the bar is this way, but I can't get there from here. Uh. Oh my goodness, I, I can't dodge her! She's right in my face! Alright, take this out. I will get to, I believe... Oh boy, this is where I use the barroom key and I'm in the wrong place. Oh, I can't use... <laughs> now I can use it, but I'm too close. Oh boy. Uh, uh. There'll be a bright sky in the, in the sky for uh, winter. It's pretty cool. Oh my god, I walked right into that one. Uh. I'm the proves that I'm not too bright. <laughs> As an intelligent when it comes to my... Look at me, just using up all of my pistol ammo there as in intelligent when it comes to my positioning, but we will only be playing for a, a little while longer. And then we'll move on to the next game on the list. Alright. I think it was around here I needed to get to. And then, uh... You know what? I think I, I, think I was supposed to, uh... <laughs> grab an item somewhere else. <laughs> oh, lots of zombies. Lots of zombies. Oh boy, okay. Get me out of it. Oh. Alright. Wow, that's a dangerous zombie as well. Do what I mean? Uh, purple colour? That means that uh, she's more deadly. An item here? I thought I saw the explanation mark for a second. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh boy. To be fair, the numbers I've, I've put on the games for when I'm when I'm going to be doing them, I might get a game over here. Oh, I'm out of pistol rounds. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I need to need to pick. 
<laughs> that's well timed actually that's well timed because we do need to move on we spent over 20 minutes on that game uh, or we have been 20 minutes over as it is so we do need to move on to the next game and I've got everything hooked up actually um, so we will move on the next game on the list <laughs> the next game on the list will be uh, number four is Parasite Eve 2 on the PlayStation 1 and this was from September 2020 pickups so uh, I'll move over to the full screen webcam back I'll have to move back and forth as I plug stuff in as well um, so there we go go back over to the full webcam yes so the next game is uh, look you can see the you can see the game over screen reflected on it the next game is Parasite Eve 2 on the PlayStation 1 Parasite Eve 1 was never released over here and uh, yeah, awesome game. It's it's already um, it's already in the machine, and I've actually kind of um, I've kind of tied together all of my cables. <laughs> I've tied together all of my cables to uh, to try and make it easier to switch between them. So hopefully this won't be so bad. I'm gonna try and switch between cables right now, and then we'll move on to the next game and play that for a little bit. But yeah, Parasite Eve 2 from my September pickup video. Um, so that'll be pretty awesome. I'll just change the uh, cable right now. Awesome cable changing. I've, uh, like I said, I, I put everything together. I don't know if you can hear me because I'm off center from the camera, um, but I put all of my cables together. So hopefully this will uh, work out easier. Uh, we shall see. I didn't. Um, you know what? I didn't anticipate. I also need to turn on the system. So I will be away from the screen. Hey, Jonan, how are you doing, my friend? Away from the screen, as well as having my face away from the. Um, so as well as having my face away from the uh, microphone, I will be away for just a second. All right. As I turn on the PlayStation. All right, there we go. There we go. Back in business. So, uh, the next game is... Let me do this properly. Uh, Parasite Eve 2 for the PlayStation 1 for my September video games pickups. There we go. You need my face. <laughs> All right. And I will move this onto the uh, standard definition capture screen when the game has loaded. All right, let's hope this uh, let's hope this works out for me. I'm doing a lot of different systems at once, so we'll see uh, how it uh, how it plays out. I might need to turn the brightness up to be fair for this game. Hey, there we go. Okay, we're into some. Uh, Parasite Eve 2. Parasite Eve 1 uh, on the PlayStation 2 by the way and I'm using the pound HDMI cable. Parasite Eve 1 was never released over here um, so we only got Parasite Eve 2. Found your Parasite Eve 2 copy years ago. Yeah I only came across it, uh, I only came across it fairly um, recently. It's because I never had Parasite Eve 1. Parasite Eve 1 was never released over here so I'd never played that so I kind of just didn't play Parasite Eve 2. But I also, I also definitely wanted to play it. Technical difficulties for sure. I imagine you guys couldn't hear me or couldn't hear me well whilst I was changing the cables. So I, I will be playing five different uh, systems on this stream. So I tied together the five HDMI cables that I will be using next to my capture card. Something's definitely gonna go wrong in the stream. <laughs> it's kind of unavoidable. But yeah, there you go. Long opening on this as well. Another amazing game it is though. I want to get the uh, first game though. I'll have to grab like an American copy and figure out how to make it work. I guess you could use like um, I guess you could use like um, what am I what am I trying to say? Like uh, I actually need to swap the aspect ratio on my TV as well. I guess you could use like swap magic, you know that sort of thing as well. There we go. That looks much better on my screen. I just need to remember to change it back. Hey zombie, welcome to the stream, my friend. Parasite Eve 2. That was a long opening. You heard me? <laughs> heard me panicking, heard me flustered most likely. Alright, let's do it. How are you doing, zombie? Need to play Dino Crisis? I know, right? Press the start button. Alright, let's get this party started. I've got no memory card in, um, so we'll just play it as is. Let's begin. Parasite Eve 2. And we're going to do this for around about 20 minutes or so. I went over on the last game, then move on to the next one. It's going to be hard not to go over on some of these games. September 2000. You love this game? 
Whoa. Rats. Nearly three years have passed since the tragic loss of life during the incident in Manhattan. <gasps> oh. The game's going to be really dark because that's the cable. I might need to turn it up. Since then, I've quit the force and become an NMC hunter based in LA. Okay. Ooh, it's got a bug here. I caught the creatures as they headed west from New York. You know what, the next, um... The next couple of games might be quite dark as well, so I'll probably turn it up now. We never saw any of the mutant uh, mitochondria that created Eve again. Oh. Right on target. The creatures' numbers were dwindling. <gasps> All right. The end of my struggle was in sight. Cool stuff. Awesome game as well. By Squaresoft as well. They made some great stuff. Not a fantasy as well. Until one chilly late summer evening. In the late of summer. <laughs> hey Mike, how you doing my friend? Oh, you weren't supposed to hit that one. That's a bad. Ooh. The self-destruct system has been activated. <laughs> this sequence cannot be aborted. <laughs> What's the matter, Aya? Right, circle is the action button, as uh, it was with some games, because that's the standard in Japanese circle. It means uh, it means it means confirm slash yes, and X, of course, it's across means no. In Japan, of course. Well, had enough for now. I missed some dialogue there. <laughs> Uh, that's enough. Let's get to the action. Oh, now I'm pressing X, am I? <laughs> that's enough for today. Maybe it wasn't a press a button. Maybe it was just, um, maybe we just wait for the dialogue to go away on screen. <laughs> okay, and we're done. All right. I appreciate you guys, uh, wrong series. <laughs> All right, let me, let me up the brightness real quick. It might, um, it might freak out my capture card, but I will up the brightness. Let me go on to my video capture device settings and configure the video and up the brightness a little bit. Look at that, my character's all mad at me. I'll turn him to face the camera, so there's that. Got the, uh, got the old, uh, got the old tank controls, as some people call them. I'm very used to them, I played a lot of Resident Evils. Alright, that looks better to me. So we'll go with that. And of course, it's being captured on widescreen. And um, I, I've, I've shrunk it to the right aspect ratio for this because it's coming through the pound cable, which makes it widescreen. I believe the Hyperkin HDMI cable has a four by three option as well. All right, I'm going to use I'm going to use the D-pad. I'm not going to use the thumbstick because it would definitely be harder to move. I just need to figure out what the circles run. Okay, just need to figure out what the buttons are. It's been a hot minute since I played this. All right, open up the door. Squall's Gunblade. I like Squall's Gunblade. You had the, uh, I remember that one of the triggers, can't remember which trigger, one of the triggers uh, fired the weapon and that was, uh, as, you, as you struck the target, that was awesome. This would be interesting actually to see, now I am actually on this stream, I am experimenting a little bit with uh, what might get uh, copyright. <laughs> one of the other games that I will do is much more likely, but we'll see, sir. Um, how uh, how the Squaresoft game does, I understand. Right away. All right. Ooh, Pierce. Oh, that was Hal, I presume. Bullseye. I've already stopped doing voices, haven't I? Looks like the doo doos really hit the fan. Oh, you said doo doo. At the Acropolis Tower downtown. The Acropolis Tower. Intrigued. I am. Am I? I just went to the clearance sale there last week. Not on the roof, I bet. Alright, wonder if Aya's got any video game pickups. Hal wants her, uh, I mean. Supervising Agent Baldwin wants you down there ten minutes ago. Then why are you explaining things to me so slowly? This really does involve, involve NMCs, right? Alright, well let's go then. Stop talking to me. Last time I checked out a creature sighting, sorry, 
creature sighting. It was just a salesman in a fluffy chicken suit. Oh, chicken chaser, we've got Fable now? No such luck this time. They've already called in SWAT. Alright. Alright already. I'm going. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Wherever there's NMCs, there I am. Wherever there is truth, I'll be there. Wherever there is justice, I'll be Anyway, okay, Aya, don't get cocky. Alright, don't get penisy. Alright. Open it up. Let's go! Let's go! Run, 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 run. Firearms. Ooh, I didn't think it matters. <laughs> it looks uh, it looks a lot clearer with the brightness turned up, I will say as well. Hey Sam M, how are you doing my friend? Welcome to the stream. Alright, I just get in a vehicle, right? Pierce's SUV. He's quite the outdoorsman really. This is good for off-roading. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll start talking about cars. I don't know I, I don't know where I stand with that. Don't know anything about cars. My car. Here in my car, I feel safest of all. I need to get ready first. I need to pick up the uh, the gear <laughs> from the firearms. Firearms control. Okay, let's go. Get control, eh? What mascots are uh, accidentally shot every day <laughs> in this game? <laughs> Potentially. Aya, Aya. Well, that's a mouthful. Or tongue twister, I should say. Use your BPs here to arm and equip yourself. Bring along some tablets too, just in case. That, that's like herbs. It, cu it cures you. Um, what will it be? Wait, I can't choose my option? Okay. And I see a list. Alright. So I do need to equip weapons, right? No, I can't afford any weapons, but... Afford ammunition, right? Yes. Okay. Shotgun... Uh, no, I don't have either of these weapons. I have a pistol, right? Um, armor? <laughs> I can't get... I guess I'm just getting some recovery items. Um, yeah, so some recovery items. There we go. There we go. Okay. Alright. Every gun uses a certain caliber ammo. That's why the ammo is in different colored boxes. I mean, like, duh, right? So why did Pierce try to put 9mm PB in a revolver? Uh, got him there. Okay, that, I guess that means I'm equipped. I couldn't afford anything. <laughs> PS1 w was such an amazing machine. Like, PS2 is probably like Desert Island system, right? Because you can play PS1 and PS2 on it. I'll leave once I'm ready. What, do I have to speak to him as well? Now he's hanging around in the garage waiting for me. Ready to go? Yes! I am ready! Did you not see me by the car? Ready! Great, I'll open the gate. Watch yourself out there. Watch yourself. I'll go when I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> ready for action. Yeah. Hey Gubbins, how are you doing my friend? Welcome to the stream. Alright, let's go. We've got some uh, Hot Wheels action right now. There's no driving section. September 4th, 2000. 8.56pm. So you could just say 9pm. You could round it up. <laughs> it's so close. At the Acropolis Tower. How are you doing Gubbins, by the way, my friend? The advent of um, disc-based media gave them these um, cinemas, cinematic sequences. Oh, we can't get to the chopper, it exploded. Um, which was a big advantage that the 700 megabytes or so you had on a disc versus the 64 megabytes you had on a Nintendo cartridge. Although Nintendo was much more capable with 3D environments. Um, it, you know, it was more powerful. The, uh, the data you had on disc and the ability to have multi-disc games was a big deal on the uh, on the PlayStation for sure. Parasite Eve, yep, we're, we're in the Parasite Eve. Oh, I'm walking. Look at that scrolling. Look at that scrolling. That's some beautiful scrolling right there. Speak to the speak to the cop, special agent. I agree, Bria. I'm with the FBI Mist Unit. Can't be missed. Hey, video game lover, how you doing, my friend? Missed? Where? All right, you're clear for entry. Go right in. Right, here we go. Let me in there. What's the sitch? All right, tell me the sitch. The situation is out of control. <laughs> we had a team on the roof before we lost contact, and now our helicopter's down. I saw that. It exploded. The military better get here soon. I know we're. Uh, no need. I'm here. Alright, let's go. Go. That's scrolling. Am I scrolling in the right direction? 
<laughs> let, me, let me go the right way. This way, right? This way. Okay, I'm just so impressed on that scrolling, I went the wrong way. That's some good scrolling. Cool character, right? Alright, that guy's in the entrance there. Ooh, looking around. I will say that the HDMI cable I've got, it's a budget HDMI cable. It does a great job for the purposes of streaming. No survivors. I do, I do recommend those cables. Obviously it's not like the high-end type of HDMI cable. Of course it's not. Not for like, you know, under 40, uh, under 40 bucks, you know. But it does the job. It definitely does. Special Agent Bria, FBI. What's the situation on the roof? We didn't we just ask this? It does a lot better job than what the scar converter I had. <laughs> well, SWAT went in about 10 minutes ago, but we seem to have lost contact. Any civilians inside? They are already been evacuated. Remember that, by the way. They have been yelling about creatures. Sorry, creatures. I see, thank you. They get out of my way. Out of my way. Be careful in there. I will. And we're into the action. Oh. And now they talk amongst themselves. Sergeant, an FBI agent just entered the building. Okay. I keep imagining I can skip past this. That hunter from Mist, right? See, that went by in a second. Mist Sergeant? Hmm. Yeah, haven't you heard of him? You not heard of- How have you not heard about Mist? Damn rookie! They're monster hunters! How have you not? And then they look ahead. <gasps> they formed after the NY blockade incident three years back. And we're going up in the world. Yeah, I think the backgrounds are pre-rendered. For sure. The, um... When you got to the PlayStation 2, you then got sort of real 3D environments. Plus, you didn't have the uh, same... On the PlayStation 1, you didn't have the same 3D capabilities that you had on the N64. Alright. We're in the action. Alright, let's get in there. I must remember how to use my weapon as well. <laughs> Mustn't forget how to use that. Look, look at the reflections. I see modern games that don't have reflections. <laughs> look at that. It looks so good. I want to stream the whole game. Ah, that sword is in a funny place. Oh. On the statue, that is. My goodness. Place is a wreck. All right, we're going. We need to find someone to tell us what the hell happened here. Oh, the monster by the telephone. <laughs> Give us a look at it. Ran off. Et phone home. What's going on here? Hello, I'm in the middle of something. Agent Bria, you're there. Good. This is Baldwin. What? Swat? I see. It's unusual for NMCs to do this kind of damage. We need more information. Just use sufficient caution. No, do not save the game data. Save cancelled. Caution not used. <laughs> Maybe I'll get another game over. Alright. I think I need to go this way. I could be wrong. Uh. Run, 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 run. Freeze! Don't shoot, FBI! Don't shoot, I'm human! <laughs> Are you hurt? <gasps> Nothing serious. I'll be okay. Where's the rest of the SWAT team? Very sus that he's okay. Very suspicious. Didn't you see them? They've killed everyone! Everyone? Please use caution. Nah. <laughs> All except this lady, a civilian. She didn't make it. If I was wounded... Please, you've gotta save her. But they said no civilians, if you remember. Where is she? Oh, is he scratching his butt? Oh, he's getting a key. Probably in, still in the cafeteria. She's having lunch? <laughs> Obtain the cafeteria key. Yeah, I knew we had to go this way first to get the key. I remembered that much. Watch your back. <gasps> my back? I can't. I can't. You scratch my back? <laughs> okay, I'll scratch yours. Well, how did he make it out and nobody else did? Hmm? 
Look at those reflections. This game looks so good. Banzai! <laughs> Press X to ascend or descend stairs and ladders, and now it gives you it, now it gives you tutorial. If, if you, it never told you how to open a door, but it will tell you how to go down steps. There's something on the bench. All right, yeah, it's an ammo box for the masses of ammo I already have. There we go. A SWAT ammunition box is filled with nine mm rounds. I'll just borrow some of these. This case holds an unlimited supply of ammunition. Yes, let's pick up some. I've obtained tons. I have so much ammo. Remember supply points like this for later use. Uh, I could feed the safety, but I need a sandwich. Uh, a chill sandwich? I knew, I mean, before somebody else says it. <laughs> before somebody else says it. Alright, where is the area again? Oh, this guy didn't make it out. <laughs> he just kind of bends down to look at him. Something ripped through his poly polymer vest and disemboweled him. Such incredible power. What, are we, are we being Albert Wesker now? <laughs> I can't see an escalator in here. An automatic door, it won't open. You have a gun. The electricity's turned off, it's made of glass. I digress. Uh, was I not supposed to go down this side? The gate has been barred from the other side. It was the other side. <laughs> Wrong series. Alright. Remember, press X to go up and down stairs. Alright, it's the other side. I had a 50-50 chance of getting it right on which side to go down. I couldn't decide. <laughs> uh. Anyway, down, down the stairs. We will get into a battle. And we can do this. Alright, should be a cafeteria around it. Some oh boy. Well, that thing is, is going to town on that guy. <laughs> I don't remember what the, what the battle controls are. Okay, we're in battle sequence. I can't remember how to fire. <laughs> I did. I did a thing. All right. I got at least. I got my weapon up at least. I don't remember. R one. There we go. <laughs> I should run. I should run away from him. Is he down? He's down. Okay. All right. It was R one. My goodness, guys. I couldn't remember what the fire button was. I could have got wrecked there. Oh, it took out an eye. Eye for an eye match. With Rey Mysterio, FBI, everything's going to be okay. It's not going to be okay. <laughs> Watch out. They're not what they seem. <gasps> oh, just in time for him to not make it. Maybe it was all that not knowing what the buttons were. <laughs> Tutorials where I know, right? It tells you how to go downstairs. It tells you how to go downstairs, but not how to... There's a reload button as well, right? I might need to... Remember that. No, okay. Well, never mind. We'll figure it out when we get there. there. There is, I think there's a quick reload button yourself. Or you can just reload when you're out of ammo. Man, what am I going to have in the cafe? Some delicious food, perhaps. They said there was a girl in here. But uh, we just saw a monster here. Open it with a cafeteria key. Get some lunch. What am I having for dinner? Vengeance. Feast on vengeance, I should have said. Anyway. What? She is just having a meal. <laughs> What are you doing? Ma'am, you're safe now. What are you doing? I'm with the FBI. I'm going to get you out of here. Oh, curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. They said all the civilians were out. It's a trap! Alright, I'll remember the buttons this time around. Oh boy. It was a monster! The guy said they weren't what they seem. Alright. Let's fight this thing. Haha, <laughs> Jurassic Park style. Damps on the glass. Alright, let's do it. Me versus you, monster. Alright, that means you're in combat. This time I'm pressing the right button, I should walk backwards as well. I should walk backwards to where I can actually walk backwards and aim at the monster. Alright, I'm getting out of it. 
I need to reload. Get out of it. <laughs> Have I actually reloaded? <laughs> I don't think I did. Yeah, there we go. Can I stun it? Oh, it got me. Ow. Trying to be somewhat tactical about how I fight this thing. Right, if I stab... Doesn't help when I get stuck behind a table. Alright, reload. Reload. Reload, damn it. Ah, now it's good to be behind the table. I am the table. That's what you get. Terminated. Good stuff. And we took that one out. No game over this time round. Item obtained. Nice. Alright, well I guess I'll take all of them. <laughs> and there you have it. We took out that monster. A wolf in sheep's clothing. I've never seen this type of creature before. Oh, there's some kind of metal implant behind the ear cavity. What's this? Oh, pick it up. Well, it leaves us with more questions than answers, does it not, my friends? Oh my goodness. Oh. Get down! Who's this? I think it's gone, buddy. <laughs> well, there go my bounty points. Rupert says you can have them. What a badass. i never seen this kind before. A new species? <gasps> it can mimic human form. What? It was disguised? No, it transformed. A wounded SWAT officer asked me to come rescue her. Huh, SWAT? If you say so. If you remember, all of the SWAT were taken out. Oh, this guy's such a badass. There's more of them. We need to go in... <laughs> Gotta mess my back up. Oh boy, watch yourself. Man, he's gonna handle them alone as well. What a badass. What a badass. Oh my goodness. That guy's so cool. Alright, well, that is um, Parasite Eve 2, my friends. Don't go anywhere. We have the top three coming up in just a moment. I am going to take a very quick break. The action will continue. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back. Look, I have flicking a hair there. I can't flick my hair. Anyway, don't go anywhere, my friends. I will be right back.
Welcome back my friends, I hope you enjoyed the break. During the break, uh, speaking of technical difficulties, I did actually switch around uh, to the next uh, game so that I could start that up without having to fiddle around too much. Um, so we should be good on that. The next game that we are going to stream for these top 5 horror games of 2020 that I picked up from my video game pickup videos will be Project Zero Two from the Wii and that is from my most recent video game pickups video December 2020 which is currently at the time of this uh, video the featured video on my channel so you can check that out that will have gameplay footage for everything including this other game I want to do a quick honorable mention to um, because honestly I wasn't really sure that I would at the time I did pick this up I wasn't sure I would be able to record footage for it but I was able to sort something out uh, and that is an honourable mention, real quick, to um, Project Zero, or you may know the uh, you may know the series as. Um, let me just turn off my screen so it doesn't put too much glare on this. I'll turn it back on. Well, I'm going to have to turn it back on to play, but anyway, I digress. Uh, Project Zero Four: Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. And this is a Japanese-only release from the Project Zero game series. I have, at this time, played all of them. They are awesome. And definitely this would have been on the list if, I, if I'd have known that I would be able to play it by then. Uh, yeah, awesome, awesome game. I have it here. Yeah, great to be able to play this. And what I did is I got myself an um, American Wii. So here's the American Wii. Um, it was actually, funny enough, it was missing uh, the plates on the top, so I put different colored plates on the top so I could distinguish it, so I knew this was my American one. Uh, and I've, I've modded this um, so I can run a program called Revolution on it, and that allows me to use uh, a great, uh, an amazing um, translation patch that was made uh, so I can play Project Zero 04 in English, and it works amazingly. I will be streaming this game at some point when I captured footage for this for my December pickups video. Um, I, uh, I, I, I believe I used component out uh, because obviously I couldn't play this on my, on my Wii U which is why I will be playing um, this next game on which is also a Wii game. Um, so uh, so um, yeah, I, I believe I used component out and a component HMI converter which actually was a bit weird because sometimes it went a bit a bit weird. Um, so I'm hoping to get maybe a Wii HDMI cable. I will not use, and I have a Wii 2 HDMI, one of those cheap converters, um, but I will not use that because that is not very good. Uh, but anyway, honourable mention to Project Zero 4. I will be streaming all of the Project Zero games at some point. That will be uh, that will be a series I will do. Hey Wolf, how are you doing my friend? Welcome to the stream, good to see you. And if you're a fan of Survival Horror, you will love the, um, the, the next game. Of course, from the December... 2020 pickups currently featured video on my channel which has gameplay for sure all of them it is project zero two wii edition for the wii of course uh, this is a remake of project zero two and it's really cool my, my only complaint would be that um that i i preferred the dialogue from the original game but they've added a lot of um, cinemas to this as well cyberpunk i know the game just came out right a lot of people are going to be playing that as well um, really cool. The disc is currently in the machine, and uh, yeah, so I should be able to set that up to go right now. Assuming assuming everything is still working, I actually need to need to turn on my uh, Wii mote. But yeah, we will be doing um, we will be doing Project Zero Two Wii Edition. I actually haven't played Project Zero Two Wii Edition, but I have played uh, Project Zero Two all the way through. <laughs> so I got the Wii uh, the Wii U on now, and I will switch it over to. Uh, to uh, Wii mode, and then we will move on to the uh, to the gameplay footage. Um, yeah, cool stuff, cool stuff. Fatal Frame games are great. They are indeed. I, I ho hopefully I will be doing all of them, except probably the 3DS one. I have played that all the way through, but no idea how I would capture it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we will get this up and running, and I will start the game and then switch over screen as well to begin the screams and uh, sometimes when I switch resolutions my Elgato doesn't like it which is why I need I would prefer to have a dedicated cable for everything um, but yeah I'll be doing this on the on Wii game on the Wii U because that will do it at the highest resolution and it shouldn't get it shouldn't get too out of sorts about it all right all right there we go project zero two Wii edition here we go and I've, I've got the brightness turned up. I'll keep the brightness turned up because I think all of the games we're going to be doing are going to be quite dark. 
uh, figuratively and literally speaking as well. Go, go, pray on a prayer. Uh, it, it would, it would be tough, man. It was, it was tough to record. That I believe um, Spirit Camera is also on my um, December pickup video as well. Uh, see, it was, a, it was a tough, it was a tough game as it, as it was. Anyway, I'm just gonna double check the, uh, the options here. So I believe um, this game, the PAL version, has the option for Japanese. Uh, I'm gonna turn the subtitles off. But I, I, I thought that this had the option to change to uh, Japanese audio. But I guess I was wrong. Uh, but regardless, that would have been cool if they, if they put the option for the Japanese voiceover. That would have been really cool. Anyway, turn the subtitles off and we will begin a new game of Project Zero 2 Wii Edition. Of course, uses the Wii gimmick. I actually think the um, motion controls controlled better in Project Zero 4, which was made before this Wii Edition. Oh, this haunted house. A haunted house would just be like a mini game. And maybe that would be more appropriate for the uh, for for uh, for the time we have. But I will start the story. And if you have played if you have played the uh, original game, you will notice some differences as we move on. All right, let's do it. Project Zero, or some may know it as Fatal Frame Two, Crimson Butterfly. This game is a work of fiction, a resemblance to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. You know the first game, at the start, it says it's based on a true story, which is entirely untrue. <laughs> Mayu? You remember our promise? You know, I'll never leave you. Mayu? Mayu? Oh, my controllers are rumbling. I would like to be able to turn on the Japanese audio. Sorry. You have the main characters here, the two. We used to play here a lot, didn't we? Two sisters. Yeah. It'll all be gone soon. They've expanded many of the uh, cinemas. Your leg. It's not sore, is it? Only a little. I'm okay. Listen, Mio. Hmm? <gasps> Butterfly! Never mind. They look more pink than crimson. Come on, wait! Mio! So one of them injured their leg when they were young. The other feels responsible. Mayu, you know that time. Oh, and she's gone. What a thing to happen whilst we're in the woods. Mayu? Boy, I do hope we don't wander into anything terrible. Why does she follow in the butterfly? <laughs> follow that stupid Mayu. butterfly. <laughs> it's a trap. Don't do it. Characters sound so British. Not quite as British as Zelda sounds in the Breath of the Wild. Although on Breath of the Wild, you can um, put Japanese audio on that. I wish I had a Japanese audio setting here. Oh, seen something else. Oh, it's rumbling so so bad or so good. That'd be my controller. We lost her. We lost her. <laughs> lost in the woods. I know, right? So, characters wandering off becomes a very frustrating theme in uh, in this game series. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Tutorial. Alright, basic movements. Push the control stick. And the nunchuck. I actually am quite used to using these controls now. The button to run. Ooh. Although I may need to adjust it slightly. Shake the Wii Remote to perform a 180 degree turn. Okay. Ooh. And lateral movement. Hold down the C button. Okay. That is probably going to be quite important. Mayu. All right. And I've got I've got to actually aim the stick to see if I look up and down. Uh, it didn't tell me, but Z is run. Save a little bit of time there. Dude, the graphics look so good. 
I did prefer the voices on the original game. Um, however, um, having the widescreen and the visuals upgraded is so good. Where has that Mayo got to? This looks like a new cinema to me. Forgive me. Please. Forgive me. Not a flight. Those darn butterflies. I love how they built the suspense in this game. I do really enjoy it. Where are we? Where indeed? Oh, look what it is. Mayu? That's not weird. The lost village. <gasps> Project Zero Two. We edition. All right, get into the action. Fight some ghosts. I heard about something like that happening a long time ago. A village in this area disappeared. On the day of a festival, I heard that people who got lost in the forest were lured there. Maybe, maybe we found that village. I feel like I need to be more British <laughs> while playing this. <laughs> the Lost Village. Alright, let's do it. Chapter 1. Alright. So, um... She was going to be quite slow with her injury. Let's move. I could hear someone singing just a minute ago. Hear someone singing? No, there's no one here. Well, that's not creepy at all. There's a save point over there where the butterfly is. Tutorial. Saving. Okay, I know how to save. Thank you. I'm just going to exit that tutorial. We're not going to save. <laughs> move. I mustn't leave her behind. Alright. Stay with me. Stay with me. Keep a keep a steady pace so she can she follows me. Although you run stupendously slow in this game. <laughs> Alright, shining lights. They can be picked up. Okay. <laughs> there is something on the ground. It looks like a handbag. It does not. It looks like a an orb. <laughs> but let's pick it up anyway. What could it be? Newspaper cuttings. There's a black handbag containing several pieces of paper. And this is a, a very common theme in the game. So most of the information you get is given to you through files. Uh, in a similar way to Resident Evil. Fears mount for missing surveyor. Concern was growing yesterday for a surveyor who appears to have gone missing while visiting the proposed site of the Miku Mizukami Dam. Mezami Miku Maki... Mura, 26, is believed to have gone to survey historical landmarks due to be flooded by the construction of the dam. It is now five days since he was last seen. The search for the missing surveyor has been abandoned in the next clipping. The search for Masumi Makimura, 26, the surveyor who has been missing since the 4th, was abandoned yesterday. Yesterday marked 10 days since Mr. Makimura went missing while surveying the proposed site of the Mizukami Dam. All right. And there's a picture of a young couple. <gasps> I do hope we don't see them later as ghosts. Alright, <laughs> we'll, we'll add that to our records. <laughs> In the near future. I wonder whose it is. And these other things too. I wonder. <gasps> I will say the cool thing about the uh, Wii remake is if you played the original game, they have added a lot of extra stuff in. Um, I have said before I do prefer the original, um, but not just because of the voices I preferred. Um, but um, also the pacing is a little faster. Alright. Telling me how to use the map. Yeah, I don't need to know how to use the map. Oh. <laughs> I can't pronounce anything to be fair. Alright, let's get down there. 
Get down there. Oh, that's creepy. Once I say something a couple of times, it should be stuck in my head, unless I immediately forget it. Remember we remember me with Kakariko Village. Is there anyone there? From Zelda. Oh, that's mm. nice. That's comforting. She put her hand. Wait a minute! She walked past me. me once more. <gasps> Mio, I'm here. Okay, that I don't know why that didn't freak them out more than it did. <laughs> she looked. She's so quiet. She saw the hand, right? She saw that that was a hand on us. <gasps> Leave me alone! <laughs> through the door, through the door. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. I can't wait to stream these. They added a lot of cinemas. Especially in the early going. Surprisingly mellow reaction, I know, right? There appears to have been someone that has touched my shoulder. Who is not there anymore? Oh well, onwards we go into a house There's nobody here. in a creepy forest without ever thinking of turning around. Want to look around? Want to look around? <laughs> <laughs> What's she afraid of? <laughs> Mayu. There's like a filter on top of the video Mayu. as well. What's wrong? <laughs> oh, visions. People? Usumi, where are you? So the man went missing. Usumi, where did you go? And the lady went looking for him. The lost village. Where are you? Masumi. I don't want to kill you. <laughs> what was? I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's go investigate. <laughs> Um, talking about uh, mellow reactions, I feel like the the voices there are a bit too mellow. Where have you gone? Let's, not get separated. Let's follow the ghost. That seems like a fantastic idea. I like this. Let's go this way. <laughs> uh. He looked for him all over, the voice says. Well, let's look for him. See if we can find him. Or her. Oh, there's something on the ground. Let's pick it up. What's the worst that could happen? We found a torch. There's still some battery left. It's not one of those games where you keep running out of battery for your torch. It's not one of those. This is something, at least. All right. Now I can aim this with the Wiimote. Hey, good night, Jonan. Appreciate you dropping by, my friend. And I will catch you next time. The to use the torch to illuminate dark places. Use the Wii Remote to aim it. And then you can find hidden items with the torch. You have to use the torch to find hidden items. Good night, Jonan. And I will catch you next time, my friend. Light them up. You have to use the torch to find hidden items. Very much have to. In here. It was cold in here? Could it be the chill of death? Ooh. Investigating objects. So when you investigate an object, you are kind of um you you're liable to be attacked by a ghost. Um so you have to kind of hold the A button whilst going towards the object. However, if uh if you see a ghostly hand reach out for you, release the A button to prevent being grabbed. And that's uh, that's the gimmick for like virtually every item you pick up. We found the lady's notebook free. Masumi, it's Mayako. 
I came to find you. Let's go home together. If we're together, we can make it out of here. If you find this note, please shout. I'm sure I'll be somewhere nearby. I'm sure of it. Okay. There's someone here. I know it. There's someone here. I don't see anyone. But then I guess we wouldn't. If they were ghosts. Oh, I didn't mean to bump into my ally there. Have a look around. I know. Let's let's peer through the cracks. Don't see anyone in there. Oh, <laughs> now you're the one scaring me. Get out of my get out of my way. Investigate. An object about the size of a person is covered by cloth. It's a mirror. <laughs> let's search it. A mirror has been protected by a cloth cover and it gives it a flawless reflection. Okay, makes sense. Alright, nothing else in this room that I can see right now. I imagine we uh, head on out to the next room. See if we can investigate further. Alright, open it up. Move it. Through that cloth. Alright. Oh. That ghostly figure again. Why it says Because I got her. Alright, let's check it out. Figure headed towards this room. Could it be waiting behind this door? We shall find out. Oh, I need to uh, slowly open the door. Slowly mind. All manner of items are scattered around this dark room. It doesn't seem as if there's anyone here. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Oh, there's an item. There is an old book on top of a kimono. This place, it's a bit strange somehow. Hmm. In the damaged chest of drawers. Oh, I guess she picked that one up. Notes on the camera obscura. Okay. We have a notebook. This device is most dangerous. <gasps> the fabled camera obscura I found out about two seconds ago. How convenient. Now the the doctor that created the camera obscura um, is never actually featured in the games. However, for the um, 3DS game, um, they were going to call it um, by the name of the Doctor, in the same way you have the uh, brain training game, by the name of a uh, Doctor on that. I guess like, the idea was to try and make it seem um, like a similar type of deal in the, in the title, because the brain training games were very commercially successful but the spirit camera can see things the human eye can't and can capture this ghosts is most it is most dangerous well you'd be in a lot more trouble if you didn't have it the camera obscura Mio is that it is oh. is there anyone there can't see anyone. But does that necessarily mean that someone isn't there? <laughs> Three feet. We got the camera obscura. Nice. This must be the camera obscura. Oh, okay. Oh, I, always, I skipped ahead a page. <laughs> the camera obscure was invented by Dr. Kunihiro Hiko. Also, in order to capture things uh, that exist only in the spiritual realm, There's visual thoughts and memories from the past, spiritual beings cannot uh, ordinarily be seen or revealed by the camera obscure. There we go. 
Camera skewer has been known to have uh, exercising effect on things that it captured that should not exist, and yet it also has some kind of connection about them. I was uh, pushing the uh, nunchuck thumb stick as we came to this. Misuse of the camera can easily lead to one losing their soul to these spiritual beings. I have brought the camera to a uh, Minakami village to photograph its hidden ceremony and uh, the place where its participants gather to perform it. I do believe I am more excited than Dr. Asso himself about what may be revealed. Alright, there's our notes. The camera can photograph what well, should exist. That seems there's some film left. I also got Type 14 film, the weakest. Well, I think on some of the games there's a, a film that is infinite amount, which is actually the weakest. All right. Okay, let's use it. We're gonna need it. Oh, can I? I, I think it, it wants me to go to the door, but I'm gonna grab the items in the room. As long as a ghost hand doesn't get me. Ladies' notebook. Page ripped from the notebook is lying on the dusty shelf. I keep hearing this strange sound coming from near the altar. It's kind of a song echoing from the underground. Could it be just the wind whistling through the old house, or is there something on the other side of that wall? Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, that's even more terrifying than I imagined. <laughs> Touch that. Okay, okay. A herbal medicine, that's what I was hoping to find. That heals you. Alright. That. There's someone here. There's someone here? That led through, I guess, to the room I was in. And then that allows me to see through. Um, yeah, let's peek. <laughs> Peek through the window. So that's where the mirror was. It's a shame we couldn't. Um, it's a shame we couldn't um, leave the mirror open. Then we could have a more, uh, more of a visual of that area. Never seen this. This is the remake of uh, Project Zero uh, Two on the Wii. It's pretty cool. Oh boy, we've got to open the door. You know, there's something terrible through that door. Oh. And the cinema probably proves it. Oh! That's not good. Alright, let's capture them. Tutorial, I already know what I'm doing. Press the B button to look through the camera and press the A button. While looking through the camera, take a photograph. Uh, the capture circle is displayed in the center of the screen when you look through the camera obscura. Your spirit power will increase whenever you have a ghost on the capture circle. The more spirit power you have accumulated, the more damage you will do to the ghost. Some of the games you need to be closer to get more spirit power, some of them you need to keep them in the crosshair for longer. Alright. Still that? That's a good shot. Take that. Alright, where'd she go? Where did she go? My ally is... Oh. We have a story. Locking on. Okay. Z button locks on. <laughs> I think it's telling me that they're this way. Okay. Oh, right, don't you grab her. That's right, you stand back. Stand back. Oh. It, it's gone. Gone, but did we defeat it? We have to get out of here. Oh, now. Right. Now she wants to get out. <laughs> the presence has gone. Is it true that the camera obscura can capture things that should not exist? Can it really possess that power? Well, I like getting out of here. <laughs> Filigments. Okay, that, I believe that tells me when there's something important around or the whereabouts of ghosts. And it will also tell me, you know, when it's red, it's hostile. When it's uh, blue, you're fine. Um, and yeah, that also shows you as well in the corner of the screen. Don't like it here, Mia. Let's go. Let's get out of here. All right. Away. Oh boy. The spirit. Moving. Where is it headed? Oh. Who would have thought? Locked. <laughs> Won't open. <laughs> Where'd she go? Over there. Oh, 
interesting. Oh, blocked by a pack. Okay, use the camera obscura. Her head's in the way, but that's fine. Oh boy. Oh, well, that was the ghost going through the door. <laughs> okay, up here. This is a, this is like a blockage that blocks the doors. You have to capture a picture of it to know what you need to photograph to uh, get through. Alright, capture that. What's it going to show me? Different location. Okay. Looks like a stove where I found the notebook. Alright. Stove has been added to your records. Okay. We found a notebook earlier. We'll head over there. And we'll capture a picture of that to get through the door. I don't know why we're going through the door where the big ghost is. But I guess we're doing that. Capture a picture. I found the notebook. We found a notebook in here and in the other room. So I'm going to go do that. We're running through. Then we'll go into that room where the ghost definitely went. Carefully does it. Opens the door. We have the picture. The picture tells a thousand words. Someone here, Mia. There's the stove. There we go. There's the picture. There you have it. Oh boy. Can make something out in this photograph. It looks like a wounded man. Oh boy. That broke the curse on the door. And now we'll be able to go through there. Alright. And now it's, it's telling you. In case you didn't realise. <laughs> you directly did the thing. There we go. Get a picture of the man in the veranda. There you go. Alright, let's move. Let's move! There was a strong presence here. An evil presence everywhere in this place. Everywhere around here. An evil force. Now that door's been opened, we are directly making our way towards one. I do say I quite like using the motions with the um, with the camera. You still use the nunchuck, but you do get a bit of motion aiming in there. Hello, I never saw that earlier. Interesting. I'll just grab that. Assuming a hand doesn't grab me while I'm grabbing it. No, we're good. Ladies Notebook 1. Ah, we're finding a lot of these. The Lost Village. Even I've heard the rumours about this place, about a massacre that happened on the day of a festival, wiping the village off the map. About the Twin Guardian stones that lure travellers into the village. We passed several stones on the way here. About how one can never return once they've walked through the Tory gates. The village is engulfed in a vicious and endless night. All this laughter can be heard echoing through its streets. A single woman survived in this village. Laughter? Oh, well, my friend said that they heard song. Is it a sinister song that we hear? Or a siren's lullaby? Alright, we need to open the door. Oh, he does it! Siren's song, I should say. To our destination. There's a light bearing in this room. There's no sign of anyone here. Huh. There's a futon on the floor. <laughs> Covered in dust. Okay. Search it. Uh, sure. <laughs> Search the futon. What's underneath it? Nothing. <gasps> Been dragged recently. Well, you know what? There's a very suspicious bulge here. It looks like a carpet of sorts on top of a body. So I guess we'll touch that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay. The fourth notebook. Page ripped from a notebook hidden inside the futon. Please, anyone, if you read this, please come and find me. I'm stuck in this village. Please help me. Okay. Another note. Interesting. Anything hidden here? Door is slightly open. It seems to have become dislodged, but will not open. Like the screen at the bottom collapsed. Let me look inside. I guess we're gonna peek. <laughs> Why wouldn't you, right? What's in the darkness? Place. Look, I'm. I'm actually relieved. It looks like it's been ransacked. Who could have done this? I'm relieved. Investigate. Faded score hangs in the alcove. The low cupboard, uh, the foot of the alcove, it all looks like it's unlocked. Okay, let's open it up. 
when I meet my doppelganger, I have an identical twin. <laughs> I actually do have an identical twin. So there, there is a, there is an exact uh, clone of myself out there. <laughs> oh boy, that's creepy. See this, uh, this case here almost looks a bit like a coffin. Uh, herbal medicine. I got a lot of herbal medicine. Oh boy. Look out in the garden, perhaps. Oh, I can see the garden from here. I, we saw the um, on the veranda. Oh, of course that would happen. <laughs> it, Is that? As soon as I leave, something opens up. Let's go in there. Grab that. Oh, I don't like this angle. Ooh, key. A brass key. Okay. Ooh. All right. Okay, get out of this room, huh? <gasps> Capture it. Woman by the net, huh? Oh, my brother isn't really into uh, retro games. He's a big fan of um, VR. He was uh, planning. Oh boy! There's a ghost up there. To do some uh, VR content at some point. Where? Oh, hello, the standing woman. Uh. I guess we use the key here. Uh. Lock on the door engraved. Okay, same as the key. Use the key. Get in there. Let's get in there. I have not uh, really delved into VR myself. Also, oh, hello. Oh, Mister. Okay, I guess we're following her. Um, don't really know how I would record VR if I was to do it. All right, let's grab this. Ah, another notebook. Six. I don't know how long I've been in this village. The dawn never comes, it's dark all the time. I hate this darkness, it's driving me insane. I want to get out of here, I want to see you again, Mazumi. Okay. Interesting. Uh. No, no, no. There's a mirror. <laughs> I'm going to leave this mirror alone this time. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I also got my friend in the picture. All right, well, you went over to that. I don't. I'm creeped out by the mirror. Cloth on the in covering the mirror. So, I wish I could uncover these mirrors and leave them uncovered, or turn them away. Like turn them facing. Oh, there's something under there. Oh, ladies' notebook seven. Seven is the best of the Final Fantasy, in my opinion. A scrap of paper torn from a notebook, stuck in between a gap in the mirror. I must be incredibly tired to have drifted off to sleep in a place like this. The darkness of this village is even haunting my dreams. I saw a massacre, oceans of blood, countless corpses. I saw a girl in blood-stained kimono laughing menacingly. I saw a young twin begging not to be killed. The girl's laugh is still ringing in my ears. I don't want to close my eyes ever again. Oh boy, huh? The Grudge Creature? You know, this, um, the, the Grudge uh, game does feel a bit like this, except this is um, this is way more interactive than the Grudge game. The Grudge game, um, I know some people do compare it to a walking simulator, it's still a survival horror game, but this is definitely a much bigger game than the Grudge. But uh, definitely, there's, there's the kind of, um, oh, there's Notebook 8, and there's definitely a kind of uh, Grudge feel to the look of the, of the ghosts, I will say. You definitely get that kind of ring or Grudge look to them. I found Masumi's notebook. He was here in this village. Soon I'll be able to meet him. I can't move anymore. I'll just stay here. Masumi will come for me. I know he will. I know he'll find a way out of here. If he does come back. Blank pages. For the rest of the diary. Come back. Off mid-sentence. She was lost here too. She came to this house. Searching for her loved one. But where did she go after that? 
I knew it. This place. Mio! Mayu! Why? It's a g g g g ghost Let's capture it. With my Pokeball, I'm in Camera Obscura. All right, photo opportunities. It's telling you basically when they come to grab you, you get a, or, or essentially a golden opportunity to capture the ghost. And you'll do more damage whilst they're going for their attack and it will also drive them backwards. Um, yeah, it would. Um, it should tell you when it's happening. It will, the receptacle will turn red or something or you'll get like an alarm. Oh. All right, I got a good shot there. Even though it's at the back of her, it still counts. All right. Oh, she's there. Oh, she's not being very aggressive. Interesting. There we go. I'll take a picture. That's a, she's gonna have to be more aggressive now because that did not do me much damage. <laughs> Where'd she go? In front of me. There she is. Right, she's just standing there. Oh, she got in front of me. Shake the Wemo. That's what I get. Oh, shake the Wemo. Let's get up. Good, good job. She disappeared. Oh, I would have been in trouble right there. Turn around. I can't even see her. Is she on the roof? Sometimes they are on the roof. Oh, she's right there. She's going for my ally. Don't you grab her. I didn't do much damage, but at least it saved my friend. To the left of me. Alright. Okay, I won't go for the shot of chance. I'll just grab her when I... For the photograph when I can. But sometimes you get an upgrade that gives you more of a chance when the shot of chance is um, happening. You know what, I should lock on as well with the uh, Z button. Coming for my friend. Gotcha. Don't you hide in the wall. Oh, she went down. He went down. House drove him mad. Phasmophobia? That's like a modern horror game, right? I think it's supposed to be quite, um, quite interesting in the fact that it. Alright, that's that chapter completed that it can use, like, uh, different things you do. Let's go back to the full webcam and we will get on to the next game because we have gone over on that game. This was my fear that I would enjoy playing the games uh, too much and I would go over. Um, so the next game, we need to move up on the list, my friends. We need to move up on the list. The next game on the list is um, technically a collection of games. And technically I did already break my rule of uh, doing games I already owned. Um, so I did already own um, Project Zero 2, although I did not have the uh, remake. Um, but So it's technically the same game. And this, this is a collection of games that I do already have. So number two on the list, and uh, for my top ten when I do that tomorrow, which won't include my horror pickups, I will not be doing games I previously owned. But there's such a good game on this collection that I couldn't really uh, not put it on the list. And this is from my November 2020 pickups, and the game is the Silent Hill Collection. So there you go, the Silent Hill Collection from my November 2020 video game pickup video. Um, of course, I showed gameplay for this. I actually also showed um, on my November pickups video, I not only showed gameplay footage of uh, this game, uh, both games on here, but I also compared the video quality to the original um, Silent Hill 2 on the PlayStation 2. Because I was avant that the um, PlayStation 2 version had uh, had a better look to it because it, it kind of it held um a lot of the horror in what was in the unseen so i really like the ps2 version and uh you get a lot of advantages with this version widescreen for example but um but certainly um my favorite is the ps2 version but yes um i love silent hill 2 so much this is a collection of silent hill 2 and 3 silent hill 3 is amazing as well i actually have the soundtrack cd for silent hill 3 as well 
and uh, fan fantastic games. Um, we will be playing Silent Hill 2. I actually might try using the new voices. And uh, as I said previously in the stream, I will be trying to sort of see how we do for copyright on this because it's a Konami game. And uh, if we get uh, any copyright claims for the music, um, and if which will I'll help to judge if I will be able to stream um, Silent Hill 1 and 2 in the future. 3 I think is almost certainly um, because it has music from Silent Hill 3 in the film, the Silent Hill film. I think that's definitely um, a no-go, unfortunately. But Silent Hill 1 and 2 I have hopes for. So the disc is currently in my Xbox One. I was going to try doing my... Uh, I've got to change the uh, HDMI lead. I was going to try um, doing it on my 360, but my 360 is so loud that I think the Xbox One is a better bet. I wanted to show it on the 360... Um, I wanted to show it on the 360 so that... Um, so that I could show you it as it as it was, but it will just it will run a lot easier and a lot quieter on my uh, Xbox One. So I'll be doing it from that. Um, but we we shall see uh, how it how it runs. Uh, anyway, because my Xbox if my Xbox One needs to do a massive update, <laughs> which it always does when I turn it on, I'm gonna go, just go ahead and put it in the 360, and then you'll hear the disc. You know, I even did a video about how loud my uh my 360 is a little tiny video about that anyway um i actually cleared up my my cable so i should have all my cables correct and i will put the xbox cable in and we will get going with this so the xbox one and hopefully this will uh i'll be able to turn it on hopefully from the controller right here with the xbox one controller actually you know what um this might not work because i recently used uh used this controller on the pc <laughs> Uh, so it's probably not going to work. Um, I probably need to align it. Maybe I might be better off doing it on the 360. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll see, how, I'll see how it works. I'll turn on the Xbox One and see if it needs an update first. Alright, I'm not leaving you, my friends. I'm just turning on the Xbox. It's, uh, it's, it's gimmick. It's, uh, it's like there's, a, there's the edge of my head. There you go. How about that? Professional stream, right? Um, so the Xbox is turning on. I'm going to see. It needs an update. Okay. <laughs> oh boy, we're gonna do it on the 360. Okay, we're gonna do it on the 360 instead. I've got to change cables. I knew it. I knew it. Let's do it on the 360 instead. Three Xbox 360. I've got the cable around this somewhere. This I actually did not prepare for, but you know, you'll hear you'll hear a lot of uh, disc noise this way around. But it should be a bit easier for me to set up. You'll probably hear me talking off screen now, like a very professional stream that this is. But I, I, you know. What are you going to do? <laughs> we were doing it on the 360. Alright, the 360 doesn't, doesn't often need an update. And so that is how we do it. This is planned, right? I wanted to show you... Uh, didn't, I, didn't I say my, the edge of my head is on the screen again? Didn't I say I wanted to do it on the 360? Didn't I say that would be a truer representation? Expect the unexpected, right? Yeah, very, very professional stream, right? I do hope you could hear me talking during that and that wasn't just the edge of my head for a couple of seconds. <laughs> um, so never mind the Xbox One controller, it's updating. Every time I turn the thing on, it needs to update. Every single time, my friends. Uh, so yeah, Xbox 360 is hopefully turning on right now. It's gone to a black screen. <laughs> we shall see. Um, but yeah, I mean, on a, well, modern, modern consoles, right? Modern consoles. Um, so yeah, the Xbox 360 has gone to a black screen hopefully it's turning on we shall see we shall see what it does it definitely turned on a minute ago i put the disc in and then it went to a black screen so maybe i need to turn it off and turn it on i'm gonna turn it off and on again that's how you fix everything but you know at least my controller's working right so you've got that i'm gonna turn the system off and on again because i thought i would have no problems with the 360 if i did have problems with the xbox one so we'll, we'll do that turn that off and on again Turn it off and turn it back on again. I definitely have the 360 plugged in to the HDMI and I definitely saw the logo show up. <laughs> Maybe you just didn't want to load the disc for some reason. Alright, well let's get uh, get the game running. Oh boy, smoothly done, right? Okay, so the Xbox 360 is working. Is the disc not working? This was something I mentioned actually about the... Um, the Xbox One, if a disc doesn't necessarily work properly, it will still work on the Xbox One because it doesn't read it off the disc. Um, so I'm not sure if that's possibly the case with this 
um, Silent Hill Collection disc, maybe. But then I have actually had issues with the uh, Xbox 360 where it will boot up a game to a black screen unless I clear the um, the um, the memory. So we'll see. We'll see if it loads up this time. We'll see. Man, you just can't win with Xboxes, right? You just can't win. All right, it's loading up now. It's loading up now. But yeah. All right, we will uh, we will get to that screen. <laughs> Lesser of two headaches. I know, right? Oh boy. All right, to the gameplay. All right, we're going. So we will be playing um, Silent Hill 2. Awesome music, by the way. Um, we will be playing with the Xbox controller, and uh, yeah, we will get into this right now from the Silent Hill collection. We finally had it load up. Uh, let's give it a go. Silent Hill 2. Do it. Uh, I will try the new voices. I know they are um, very polarizing. I prefer the original voices. We will try the new voices, at least for this. We had such a, a beautiful, a beautiful moment of uh, of setting up then, right? <laughs> of, me, <laughs> of me showing the, uh, the uh, my seat. I hope you enjoyed seeing the seat, right? <laughs> um, cool. So I just have the star option from the title screen. So I have options here so I can turn off uh, subtitles and uh, anything like that. Man, yeah, so I expected at least one of these games to be a bit of a headache to set up, but uh, yeah, I shouldn't, you know, I knew the Xbox One. Every single time I turn on the Xbox One, it needs to do an update. Oh my goodness. And it, yeah. Uh, so anything else, subtitles is the, I think subtitles off is the only thing I want to change. So there's that, change the settings, yes. Okay, let's begin. And, uh, man, that's going to eat into our time from this game. Main scenario also has a sub scenario, which is pretty cool as well. Uh, okay. Let's play easy and easy. I don't want beginner combat, because it'll probably be too easy. I have played through and completed Silent Hill 2 before. But I would like to stream it, so we'll see how this goes. Great to see it in widescreen though. One of the things I do like about this version is the widescreen support. Very expressive there. <sighs> Take a deep breath. All right. We're still in the cinema. We're just in-game graphics right now. It's going to be weird playing this with 360 controller, right? Because I would like to use uh, a D-pad for it. Oh, it does look cool in widescreen. Could you really be in this town? Could you really be in this town? All right. Oh, boy. Oh, I can use the D-pad. Okay, cool. The D-pad is actually a 360 D-pad I actually quite like. I like the Xbox One D-pad less because the 360 one is more like a um, Sega Mega Drive or Genesis as you might know, you, can, you kind of can press more around it. Whereas the Xbox One, it's, uh, they, they remove the extra spaces, which I know is more in keeping with a, with a D-pad, but oh, I prefer... I see, dreams. I see that town. Silent Hill. I prefer a mushy D-pad with the diagonals on it. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. The fog... For you. The fog is probably the worst translated to HD. They changed how the fog works. You got a letter. And it's very different. The name on the envelope said, Mary. I also prefer My the old voices. Name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's impossible! That's what I keep telling myself. A dead person can't write a letter. Are you dead, sure? Damn disease three years ago. So then, why am I looking for her? In her special place. What could she mean? Hmm. 
This whole town was our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us, staring at the water. Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? And the music's so good. Now if you're watching this on a replay, and there is no music, or there are sections that have been edited out, that is because of copyright. But, like I mentioned, I'm sort of doing this to, we've got a map there, to see if we do get copyright. Um, I guess the easiest way is to test for yourself, uh, so that I could stream this game in the future. I think if, if I was to, I would do the PlayStation 2 version. Improve loading times, of course, uh, on this version. Now, the weird thing about the fog here on this version, weird camera angle there, um, is that it, it almost is very visibly like a bubble around your character, where it seems less so on the original version, in my opinion. You'll see it more noticeably in other areas, where the fog is just very much almost almost a like uh, a ring around your character that moves with you oh I hear really disturbing noises in the background it's intriguing but terrifying at the same time now of course I couldn't possibly cut out the uh, million years of me uh, fumbling around on the uh, the save point or something over there I think on the well 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 um, I couldn't possibly cut out the million years of me fumbling around trying to get it to work. <laughs> trying to get one Xbox to turn on and play the game. That's, that's classic, classic, great streaming material, where you may not have even been able to hear me because I was off screen. Cinema. PS2 really had fantastic capabilities and they showcase that a lot with very cinematic gameplay and visuals and cinematic sequences in their games excuse me I oh, uh, I I'm sorry I I was just no it's okay I didn't mean to scare you I'm kind of lost lost yeah I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you better stay away. This, uh... This town... There's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the fog, either. It's... Okay, I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I, I believe you. It's just... I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going into town either way. But why? I'm looking for someone. Who is it? Someone very important to me. Sharp texture as well. Do if I could be with her again. Do anything to be with me her too. again. I'm looking for my mama. I mean, my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. Have you seen him? Have you I seen thought them? my father and brother were here, but I can't find them either. I, I'm sorry. It's not your no, problem. No, I, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. I wonder why they did decide to do the audio again. I know, like the original Resident Evil, has been uh, has been 
much uh, much celebrated for its cheesy dialogue. Um, I do prefer the I I'm not saying the uh, the dialogue is bad in this game, but I do prefer the original dialogue to the new voices because that's the that's what I heard first. You know, I like it more. Um, I got more of an attachment to it. Um, yeah, there you can see the the mist just just rolling with you, like it's a flat wall ahead of you, right? Um, oh, there's a terrible crunching in the background as well. Um, yeah, I wonder why they did it. They did it for this game, but you had the option of picking the original audio. But on the uh, Silent Hill 3, you only had the option of the new audio, which was a shame. You couldn't have the original audio. I guess he just couldn't fit it on there as well, or didn't want to. Bizarre choice. Bizarre choice. The original Wars when yeah, it's like it's like uh, you know, uh, Star Wars. It was it was it was fine as it was, but the you know the creator, it, it wasn't how they imagined it. So they wanted to, um, uh, you know, George Lucas wanted to wanted to touch it up, but everyone else already had such an attachment to that movie. Um, especially my, myself with the practical effects, I didn't want to see, um, at the time, digital effects, especially of the time, added to the movie. I just, I felt they were like, too, too much. Of course, I have always wanted to have, um, Ewoks in the back, uh, in the background and ATSTs going across the screen on all of my streams, but due to technical limitations, it's not possible. However, um, if it was possible, I would remaster my streams, of course, to have Ewoks go right in front of the screen and ATSTs in the background. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Always, always the intention. Just a bit distracting, really. I, I really like how they build the mood in Silent Hill 2. I really like how you have such a, a build. In the first game, I remember you have to get a game over quite early on. Um, what do I guess? But we are playing the second one right now, um, and that confused me at the time. That there's uh, there's such a lull right here uh, that uh, that uh, draws you in before you meet the uh, first enemies. I really like it. Really adds the pacing of the Silent Hill games. When they want when they want to lay it on, they will they will lay it on, but they they draw you in at a good point as well. All right. I need a I need to follow the trail wherever it may go, wherever it may lead me. This is the dark side of the road. I do have a map as well. It looks like I was supposed to head in the other direction. The fog, you know, it it's a main part of the game. It is meant to be frustrating. It is meant to kind of um box you in as it were but you can see that it's a wall ahead of you on the uh, on this version there's the blood blood I do hope this isn't Chris's blood I do a bit of Garth Marenghi here blood 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 all right something off in the shadows that shadow just now what well, let's follow it what we always do in video games that sense of heroism, detracted as we are, detached I should say, from the uh, characters therein. <laughs> blood, even more blood. Uh, am I supposed to go this way or this way? I guess we'll see the blood. We'll see the blood, or there'll be, or the road will be cut off ahead of me. Yeah, there's the blood. Yeah, I, I remember we had to we had to turn to the dark alley. Well, there's never been a short supply in Silent Hill. And the character's head as well looks towards items. So in here, there's a health drink and there's a save point on the uh, on that desk there. The character's head will look to items, which is a big help if you are running around the game um, somewhat aimlessly. The character's head will look to things that are important. Look at how big these areas are as well without loading. Very cool. Follow the path. Oh, listen to that sound. Sounds interesting. The sound plan. So dash in there. Oh, it's in the background. You can see it. Radio. 
What's wrong with that radio? The radios uh, make uh, white noise interference when monsters are nearby. And that's a monster. That monster was inspired when the creator saw someone in a hoodie. Um, they were listening to music in their headphones and they had their hands in the pockets of the hoodie and they were like kind of doing this with their hands in the pockets of the hoodie <laughs> and that's how the uh, monster was uh, created oh swing and a miss because that's uh, that's the inspiration behind it there you go is it dead what the hell is it what is it it's not human what is it all right there you go uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it's down sometimes you can kick them while they're all while they are down all right my friends let's move on to the final game we'll go back to the full screen full screen web webcam for more screams there you go saved it and uh right cool let's go to the last game on the list and uh I will turn off the console and we'll move on to the next system, which is actually the PlayStation 4. How about that? And uh, the next game is uh, it's going to be Resident Evil 3. And this is from July 2020 pickup video. For, so from my July 2020 video game pickups, we have Resident Evil 3, highly anticipated at the time. And uh, this was not going to make it onto my top 10 pickups, um, but I wanted to include it in the top uh, 5 horror pickups. Uh, there you go, there's the back of the case. Um, now, the reason I also wanted to include this is I wanted to, to play on stream the uh, Resident Evil 3 Raccoon City demo, which is what we're going to be doing. And uh, we'll, we will complete that um, on my on my uh, on my last top ten. Actually, at the end of that, I completed uh, Tofu on Resident Evil Two, or it was on a previous one. I can't remember, but I'll go connect the PlayStation Four, and that was quite the achievement. So I want to definitely have some Resident Evil in there. So let's plug in the correct HDMI, and we will be good to go. All right, and hopefully my PlayStation Four does not need an update like uh, my uh, my Xbox one did require so there you go okay all right let's do this I have a PlayStation 4 I've had the controller on charge actually to hopefully make sure that uh, it will be good to go for the game uh, so we will turn that on right now turn it up and hopefully everything's connected and it'll actually work <laughs> here's hoping all right, so we're going to be uh, running onto the PlayStation 4, and I will be attempting to do the uh, Raccoon City demo because um, I I, re I really wanted to feature that. It differs from the main game, and I wanted to feature it uh, on the channel at some point, but it's uh, it's quite short, so um, I would yeah just want to show that off. But yeah, so um, we've had quite a lot of scary games included. Good dreams, <laughs> sweet dreams. Sweet dreams are made of these. My uh, my controller is still not fully charged, but probably has enough charge to do the Raccoon City demo. So uh, I will go find that on my library. Hopefully it's still in there. All right, Resident Evil 3, the Raccoon City demo. Okay, it's still there, good, okay. <laughs> I was worried it might not be there anymore. Let's load it up. All right, and start the action. Okay, and we will move on, on to the uh, capture screen when I see that the game has loaded up. I'll put on those headphones and get ready for the action. Uh, you can you can set the game, I believe, the demo to easy mode and it'll give you an actual weapon. I'll be playing it on um, on the regular difficulty, um, just just so I don't don't do that. I can't remember if I did or not actually. Okay. Failed to connect to the network. Is it still going to run? It is still going to run. Okay. This game is very dark as it is. I'll put on the, the uh, headphones now. Alright, so hopefully this is going to work. Alright. Oh! <laughs> is it not going to work at all? 
be able to connect to RE.net. That's not a big deal. That's fine. <laughs> it's probably because the demo is no longer supported. Final game may differ from the demo. Yeah. Connecting to the PlayStation Network. Okay, I, I guess it either it just won't do it. <laughs> okay, failed to connect. All right. The new plague is spreading at a terrifying rate, embedding itself at the corpses already shambling city streets. Jill has encountered what we're about to see. I must have already set it to easy. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. Something it's Valentine. Jill. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Oh, radio. What's wrong with that radio? Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. Too bad he didn't have a big part in this game. Yeah, this guy is the hero we did not deserve. This guy is a hero. In the in the original game, he had some heroic moments as well. He was a badass. Did you see during that cinema? Oh, he's using a first aid spray. I don't under really understand how spraying works to fix it, but yeah. <laughs> it's a shame. He, d he deserved a bigger part in this game for sure. Um, did you see during the um, that moment? It said, like, ready to install the demo that we're currently playing. I don't know what's going on with the PlayStation. I think, I mean, modern system seems to be my bane, right? But I think, um, I don't need to read that. That's some information on how to play, I think. Alright, so get up there. Even though it has been a while, actually. <laughs> right, run. The run? Um, yeah, that's, um, you know, I've got notifications not sh to set to not show up. On the, um, I think this is more how to play. Oh, there's a tabloid front page. Cannibal Murders, a complete digest. In the grey of the morning, September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned RPD to report an assault. The man described as disheveled like a vagrant was attacking a passby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officers discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body, and she had been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So who done it? Who's been munching on man steak? <laughs> we here at News Comet have a gnawing feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patient Spencer Morial has been providing free treatment for since August might not be setting or just the cafeteria food. Now, I'm not be settling for just cafeteria food. Our reports have inf uh, infiltrated the Spencer Memorial, asked the tough questions, and came back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. All right. Well, never mind your stomach. We're about to get back in the action. Um, I think the PlayStation's being weird because this demo is potentially no longer supported, and that's what's going on. Me again. You top side yet? Working on it. Like so either. Tanks got me clearing the tracks. You might get in the subway infrastructure back online. Look, Carlos. How do I do that? Let 
that start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. I've Copy been that. let's do this fast. A couple of moments and Carlos is already hassling me. Um I, I think it's either because closer to I mean or after release they might have changed the 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 demo to include different things or um, the demo is just not supposed to be supported anymore. There is a knife option. Yeah, the knife is its own weapon in this one. The red herb. Can grab that and we can also uh, combine it to the other item as well. Uh, so yeah, this this demo perhaps has been weird. I should have notifications set to not appear on my uh, on my PlayStation 4 because I'm I it's it's the same with the Xbox 360 when the Xbox 360 does stuff like um like uh oh it's another that's another how to play manual I think uh, when the Xbox 360 does achievements I'm not really a big fan of achievements taking up a large portion of the screen same with trophies I'm gonna store these in there. I probably won't be needing any of this, at least in the early goings of the game. Hey Roughneck, how you doing my friend? Welcome to the stream. Got uh, got uh, the, the final entry on the top 5 horror games. We're doing some Resident Evil 3 uh, Raccoon City demo. It's mostly working. <laughs> it did fail to uh, connect to whatever network it's trying to connect to. I definitely have the internet, I've got to change back to my weapon, because we are live streaming. <laughs> so I think just this demo is potentially not supported. There's a lot of cool demos out there though that differ from main games as well. I'm going to go at him with a knife. Is he down? He's not down. He's down. I think, you know, I, I was about to say I think I might have changed the difficulty to easy, but if I had, I would have had an automatic weapon. Um... I would have had access to an automatic weapon. Because you can change the difficulty to easy, and if you do so, you can't change it back. Um, but I remember I did like all of the achievements and stuff on this, which I think you had to do before the uh, main game came out. You, you had to do stuff like dodging the tyrant a million times. Well, there's some eating going on in the background. Someone's hungry. Uh, you had to do a load of stuff, actually. I did all of them. It was pretty cool. Oh, I forgot about oh I forgot about that. <laughs> it's been a hot minute since I played this. You got a bite out of me. They're also eating that person down there. I think you can really run by these these guys. Oh my goodness, his head exploded. Oh boy. I'm a little bit rusty. There you go. Take him out. Down he goes. Okay, let's reload. How you doing by the way, rough man? Good to have you here, my friend. Yeah, I wanted to play the demo because there's some cool scenes in the demo. And the demo plays... You know, I even forgot about how to, how to dodge, so I'm glad it reminded me. Um, but I really wanted to uh, showcase the demo to some degree on the uh, channel. And uh, the pickups for the year of horror games as like... Uh, Essentially a one-off deal seemed like a good way to do it. See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. I set fire to the alley. Watch it burn. Are right, they coming for you? Yeah, I don't think they uh, they stopped the PlayStation 4 working because there's the PlayStation 5 out now. Although I am worried about that for the Xbox 360 because I'm like a million Xboxes removed from the current Xbox. Boom! How's that for lighting it up? Right, let's get down there. Now I think I don't quite have enough ammo to deal with all of these enemies. But, but we shall see. Let me use the knife. Get the knife, it's like ghosts and goblins, right? She down, she's still getting back up. I knew she was gonna die from my feet there. I think she's down. Okay, back to the pistol. Wow, there's so many zombies. There's so many zombies. Alright, maybe I just leave them alone. Just forget about those zombies. Forget all about them. I go in the here? Yeah. 
Hello, there's some handgun ammo. I don't think they come through the door. The music playing on the radio is like the awesome end credits music from a uh, previous Resident Evil game with the electric guitar. I don't remember any of the combinations and I can't remember if some of the lockers are even usable. I do know the item placement and things like that is different here as well where we have the bolt cutters. I'm gonna need heals actually. I'm gonna need heals for when uh, when the big guy shows up. There we go, put those away. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need anything else for the moment. Let's get through there. Oh, you know what? I should head back. Oh boy, I've got him coming in for me. Come and get it. Jill sandwich. There we go. Those guys out. Oh, they've got all of them, even the ones really far away. And the, the demo... Oh, using items. There we go. Uh, the demo had a lot of different stuff that you could um, do. Like if you did certain things, some of the um, vehicles would open up. If you, uh, some of the vehicles would open up and uh, police zombies would come from the cars and you needed to do some of them because some of the bobbleheads would be uh, you needed to get. I got all of the bobbleheads. I remember uh, spending a lot of time doing that before the main game. I was really hyped about the main game. There you go, down they go. Are the other, are the other ones coming? Huh. I was wondering if the other ones are coming for me. Oh, I got him. He's down. He's properly down. He's done. Yeah, they, are they going to come? You guys come over here so I can blow you up with a barrel. It's also a very, very dark game. I turned the brightness up a lot, as I mentioned. I probably burned the other one. Let them fire. At least it'll light things up, right? Handgun ammo. Good stuff. There is a hand grenade. Hand grenade stuns the uh, nemesis. One of the tasks you needed to do was to stun the nemesis in a certain way. Shotgun shells. There we go. I'll take them. I'll take them. Also, things are different on this game. Um, codes are different. Item placements are different. So, we'll check that out. Yeah, like some of these, some of these car doors would open up if you did certain things to trigger such an event. Grab the gunpowder. I'm going to drop the gunpowder back where it needs to be. Also, going to go back through here. It's not a long demo. This is the most um, open part of the of the game as well. I think it's quite deceptive because um, the main game isn't that open. Um, probably one of my biggest complaints about you know, Resident Evil 3 Remake. Don't need those right now anyway. Got these shotgun shells. We'll get the shotgun. We actually have what we need to get the shotgun already. Alright, dodge these guys. We'll go up here. I think um, you can go back to the guy and have a different cutscene. I think I did that on uh, on the main game. I think some of the items in the... Uh... Oh, you need the lockpick for this place. Okay, never mind. I'm thinking of a, a different place anyway. There we go, let's open this up. Where I get the code. Alright, anything in here? I might need some uh, heals. Let's read the shelves. High grade gunpowder? I'll take that. Combine high grade gunpowder with gunpowder for shotgun shells. Or gunpowder with gunpowder for, uh, for just your, your regular handgun rounds. Alright, there's my, there's my shopping spree. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oop. Gonna wait a little longer for Resident Evil 3. Yeah, it'll definitely, it'll definitely get cheaper. If you're patient with it, you'll find it real cheap. That is advisable. Oh, I thought I could dodge it. I, pre I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> it took another bite out of me. I think I'm still doing alright, though. No, I'm not doing alright. Oh, boy. Wait, do I have a green heart? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I think I'm injured, right? Yeah, caution. Oh, I should have dodged. I gotta remember the R1 button. Been a hot minute. Has been a hot minute since I've needed to use that. That guy there. There's that guy there, but... Oh, I'll just blow it up now. I thought I might be able to tempt this guy. Come over and have at it. 
You know what? I remember there being a zombie here. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Did she crawl under the car? Maybe a different zombie placement. This guy, I think, comes alive. Yep. Got him. Get up. Face me. There we go. The, the heads sway a little bit, which makes the aiming a little more, uh, a little more hectic. Come in for your blood. As they do. Where is the body? Because it's probably not down. Ah, right, it's down. <laughs> probably not down, I say. I think there's a green herb. There's red herb, red herb. Okay. I can't even carry it. Should have gone back to the box. Anyway. Look at the picture. Aquacure. Now, I think the, um... I think the uh, the number here is different, so it is uh, 918 to what it would have been on the main game, probably because if you played um, if you played the demo, you would know the code instantly. So 918 for the uh, Aqua Cure from the uh, the model there. I remember there being a file mentioning therein. We'll go back there. We need the uh, we need the herb. Is there ammo around here as well? I remember one of the uh, little bobbleheads you needed to destroy was hidden around here as well. And one of them only like appeared if you did certain things. Alright, so we'll go up here. I should be able to combine that with my... What I have right now. Zombie down there. I don't think that zombie is there in the main game. I could be wrong. There's some ammo. Can I pick up the ammo? I can. There we go. You enjoyed Resident Evil 2? Yeah, I really like Resident Evil 2. I ended up getting the collector's edition, but my sort of excuse was I need was I could do an unboxing. All right, let's. Uh, there's the file. The new hair tonic from Umbrella is just flying off the shelves. Hair. The stuff they make always works wonders. It's no surprise I was counting on this and ordered a huge shipment. My instincts are paying off, literally. I just know sales will continue to rise as word gets out. That said, the string of violent incidents on the news has me worried. Maybe I ought to invest in a good safe to hold all this cash that's rolling in. The new safe is just perfect. Nobody knows the code, not even my wife. The secret to me and my beautiful Aquacure Queen. And she'd never give it up a thief, except that somebody circled it. So. We know what the code was. It was 918. Oh, I pressed it. I did it wrong. Assuming it's this way around. Could be the other way around. There we go. Gives to me what is in the safe. The dot sight for the handgun. Combine them. There we go. Now we have the laser sight on the handgun. So cool. Oh boy, I'm getting bitten again. I'm going to need that red herb now as well. <laughs> These zombies are being brutal. The laser sight hones in really quickly as well. Help if this guy's head was in line of sight. What is this guy dancing around the place? There you go, off with his head. That was actually just a very good shot. Gunpowder. Do I have any other gunpowder? I just combine them. There we go. Combine them. There we go. Okay. I've got a first aid spray. I'm just going to use the first aid spray. There we go. Now I can pick up that red herb we found previously. Okay. Um, I'm going to go around anyway because I need to dump this stuff in the uh, container as we go. Then let's move around. Plus, I might. I can't remember if on the demo you can use the ladder. If we can, we can make ourselves a little bit of an escape route. Right, I remember there's a zombie over there eating some... Eating some... Guy... Chomping on him. Oh, I guess... Yeah, she she blew up there. There's some gunpowder in the remains. I can't remember if I can activate this. I can activate it. That's uh, a way to get around... The enemies that are around the place. Also, there was a box up here as well. A little bit of uh, unboxing on this stream, eh? There it is. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is the one I saw. Red herb. Speak of the devil. I just mentioned a red herb. Good thing I didn't use a green herb earlier, right? But let's get back down. Put that in the box. And we'll be golden. 
I was very particular to open things in a certain order because once you do certain things then you can't um, then you're stuck my uh, jokes are too perfect <laughs> I open this up um, high grade gunpowder can go back so can the other gunpowder and I guess at this point the knife and I'm going to take out the green herb and combine them there must be another green herb I've missed let me sort my inventory yeah Yes, that I already have a green herb, that's fine, cool. I will take it out, because I'm probably going to use it in just a moment. Go back to the shop, grab the red herb. And I'll combine them as well. I may need more than one green herb when it comes to it, but we shall see. So if, if, you're, not, um, if you're not clued in to when things trigger, you can get yourself in a bit of a, bit of a hairy situation, and then you'll need to be quick on the trigger. Alright. Put these together and I, I didn't take out like any ammo did I but then again I guess I'm pretty much planning on uh, avoiding the fights more than anything apologies for it looking a bit washed out like I said I needed to turn up the brightness for this game because you it's one of those games where it's so dark you can hardly see anything oh what about this guy the light on her uh, chest there how so you can see her head turn it up take this guy out and get by him. I don't have the knife anymore so there's no point knifing him on the ground. There's the hose. I think when you pick up the hose is when you are in trouble. Open it up. Grenade. I'll take a grenade. Gunpowder. I don't... I'm going to grab it now but I don't know about it. Where's the shotgun? Ah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Alright, use it, gonna lose it, or lose it, oh baby, finally my arm is complete again, and now it's going to tell me that I can remove my item, I don't know how she knows she's never going to ever need the bolt cutters again, but she does, she knows she's never going to need it again, got shotgun, finally my arm feels complete, the uh, Employee's memo reveals the fact. Violence getting worse and worse these past few days. Got a shotgun for when it hits breaking point. Locking up in the gun rack. That should keep it safe from any would-be looters while I go out and try and find some more shells. Fins go south, cut the chain and burst out that sucker. I pray we all make it out alive. Right, well, it's, it's, good. it's getting put to good use. I can tell you. Oh boy. Off with his head. Oh, I didn't get his head off. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> we still got him. There's an umbrella there. Need not, need not fear the rain without the umbrella. Take the fire hose, which means things are going to go bad real quick once you take the fire hose. Because things really start to escalate from there. The railway manual. In the event of a power outage, the subway will automatically cease operations once power has been restored. Please use the control panel to confirm the stations at which the train will stop, as well as which tracking segments can be used. The route uh, entered is unsafe, the error will occur, operation will not resume. I don't know why it has that, because you don't use this section in the demo. Nothing. So I don't know why it tells you that. <laughs> it's needless information! Alright, I... Look who decided to burst in the door. Alright. He went to the corner, but he didn't make it away from me. Alright, let's get away from this guy. I think I picked up some shotgun shells, so we'll grab them in the diner, and possibly some moon's donuts. As we... Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. I'm pretty sure there's some loot around here. There is indeed some handgun rounds. Alright. Might not need them, though. Got my shotgun. Uh, yeah, see it saves there. So it's an indication something's going to go bad, right? So I will... Um, I guess I will go ahead and make some more shotgun rounds with the high-grade gunpowder. And I will take out the shotgun shells I already have. And another mixed herb. Okay, that seems like more than enough. Alright. And while we're at it, I have a grenade. <laughs> so how about that? I'm ready for this. Oh, why do they have to be tentacles? Grenade! Ow, oh, you smacked me in the face. Didn't like that, did you? It was a shocking defeat. That's the uh, animation when he uh, 
when he's really hurt. Alright, we've got the fire hose. He actually hit me really hard there. Felt like I didn't expect that. Oh, zombies. Oh, turned into one of the creatures. Oh boy. How am I doing? Caution? Oh boy. Yeah, I knew I was going to get injured quickly. Oh crap. <laughs> Everyone wants a piece of this. Nope, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Ew. I'm going to need my grenade, aren't I? Grenade. Oh, dodged it. Meant to throw my grenade, though. That ah, got him off me. Alright, just run. Just run. He's down with the grenade. Through the door. We've got the hose. Let's do it. Hose him. Hair jokes. <laughs> Gotta have a hair trigger here. Alright, we've done the objective and we can make it out of here, injured as we are. Let's escape. Just through the corner. Oh yeah! Now that was awesome! When he breaks through the wall and says stars, they didn't include that scene in the game itself. The doors destroyed there, 20 out of 20, as you can see, uh, on the standard difficulty. Uh, so I have already done all of the um, extra achievements you're supposed to do to get whatever you get in the main game. But yeah, I, I wish they would have included that scene where Nemesis breaks through the wall and says stars, just so he, just so he does it. That You fight Nemesis later on in the main game, but you never get that scene of uh, just a close-up on him um, like that in that particular way. Of course, that the, the main game plays differently, so they didn't include that, but that was a nice homage to the original. Anyway, my friends, uh, let's go back to the uh, to the full screen webcam to close it out. Those were the top five horror game pickups for the year of 2020. Scary stuff as well, my friends. I do hope you enjoyed watching the video and checking out all of the scary games. So we'll recap the uh, pickups from the video of the top five horror games for 2020. So they were, uh, first of all, um, in no particular order again, uh, we had uh, Resident Evil Gaiden, which is actually in my system, so I should grab it. Which is in my system, there you go. Um, so first of all we had Resident Evil Gaiden on the uh, Game Boy Color. There it is right there. Excellent game, fantastic game. Love this Resident Evil game. Uh, I have live streamed this game to completion um, on the channel. And uh, it is amazing. Um, definitely an underrated game in the Resident Evil game series. Um, fantastic game. Enjoyed that as well. And then of course back in this video I showed gameplay footage as well. But this game was featured in my April video game pickups of 2020. So number 5 Resident Evil Gaiden for the Game Boy Color. April 2020 video game pickups. Um, number 4 was Parasite Eve 2 on the PlayStation 1. Uh, fantastic game, um, kind of um, kind of um, turn-based, almost turn-based combat, it's not turn-based, so I, play I was playing it earlier. <laughs> but I say turn-based because it's square soft, so that's what I think about. Um, you've got more tactical combat there, I've got, I, I, I pulled it back. More tactical combat for a survival horror game. And this was Parasite Eve on the PlayStation 1 from my September 2020 uh, video games pickup video. And then for number uh, three, we had an honourable mention um, before we get to number three, which was the um, which was Project Zero Four Japanese uh, Mask of the Lunar. So Project Zero Four Mask of the Lunar Eclipse Japanese only released game, and I got that with um, when well, I got to play that. I got that later. I did an American Wii console. This is modded to play it in English. Uh, I also got um, Super Mar new Super Mario Bros. Wii on that, uh, an American copy with that as well. But that's my that's my honourable mention. The uh, the num the number three pick was um, Project Zero Two uh, Wii Edition, of course, on the Wii. 
um, and that was from my uh, December 2020 video game pickups. My current video game pickups video that is at this time the featured video on the channel. So you want to check that video out. It's edited. It includes gameplay footage for uh, Project Zero 2, Wii Edition, and Project Zero 4 Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. Um, they're both on that December 2020 pickups video. Um, if, if I had the, the proper equipment, uh, definitely I would I would be showing to you some live Project Zero 4, but as it is, number three uh, is Project Zero 2 Wii Edition from my December 2020 video game pickers video. Wii games! Wii! And then number two is the Silent Hill Collection on the Xbox 360. We ended up playing it on the Xbox 360 because as you may have seen I uh, struggled uh, with my Xbox One. My Xbox One needed to update. I, you know, I had enough problems with the uh, with the PlayStation 4 doing weird stuff. My Xbox One was updating. My Xbox 360 wouldn't turn on at first, but then it did. And then we were able to play a little bit of... Uh, we played a little bit of Silent Hill 2. Um, the, uh, I guess you would say remastered from the Silent Hill HD collection. It had widescreen support and all that stuff. Um, yeah, cool. Glad to have this. So number two was the Silent Hill collection on the Xbox 360 from my November 2020 video games pickups. On my November video I showed off gameplay of Resident of Silent Hill 2 on the Xbox 360 compared to the PlayStation 2 version as well. So if you want to see that compared check that out. And the footage for that I captured on the Xbox One because it was playing uh, was playing ball with me then. And then finally at uh, the last spot we had uh, Resident Evil 3 I actually did the Resident Evil 3 Raccoon City demo uh, on the PlayStation 4. My PlayStation 4 is being a bit weird, probably because the demo is uh, out of date. Uh, and that was for my July 2020 video game pickups. And you can check out my video game pickups. Um, every month I post a new video game pickups video. They normally, honestly, they normally honestly take about the month to record gameplay footage for and then edit together. But normally the featured video on my channel will be my video game pickups. Uh, but speaking of pickups, I'm doing a bunch of live specials, as you may have noticed. Um, yesterday, I showed off all of my pickups in one live video um, for the year of 2020. I did include things like plug and plays and a, and a couple of things I may have missed off. But for the most part, I showed you all of my video game pickups in my 2020 video games special. Uh, and today, I showed you uh, a special top five horror games of 2020 that I picked up and that was my top five list that I figured for my top five list I did include games that I already had different versions of tomorrow I will be doing my top 10 perfect 10 uh, video game pickups for the year of 2020 and that will also include gameplay footage for all 10 games and um it, it's not the top 10 games uh, of all time, it's not the top 10 games that were released in 2020, it is the top 10 games that I have picked up in 2020, and that is happening tomorrow. And I will be doing gameplay footage of somewhere around about 15 minutes per game, and um, that will mean even more technical difficulties in switching between systems, but it's going to be a lot of fun regardless. And then, if you like my uh, regular edited videos, my regular published videos, on Monday, I will be posting a new video game hunting video, uh, so you can see me going out in shops hunting for games, and that is edited together. It features some pickups at the end of that as well, and uh, that is coming out on Monday, which would be the 14th. So on the 13th, unlucky for some, we have my top 10 video game pickups live, and then our published video on uh, on uh, Monday 14th will be my video game hunting, and that at that time will be the featured video on the channel. Uh, last uh, last uh, published video for the year it will be as well. We'll have some more live streams as well. We'll see we'll see how it goes. Anyway, my friends, thank you for being with me. You guys have been awesome. If you like the video, be sure to leave a like or a comment. To let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. And if you'd like to, you can also support me through Patreon or YouTube channel membership. Thank you for watching. I've been MVL, and I will catch you next time.